What's up, everybody? I'll be with you guys in a second. Hold on. Be right back. Just relax. Enjoy the music. It's Friday. Friday night, August 10th, 2018. Have a good week. All right, we're gonna start in a second here. I am adjusting my cock from the right to the left. I know those new subscribers are uh, not up to date. It's very odd. Let me restart all that shit. Hold on. Yeah. Ah, I guess it didn't work. Whatever, dude. Yeah. What's up, Jason Koss? I see you. Oh, so that's coming in on that end there. I see that. Let me see if there's anyone on Periscope. Yeah, baby. All right, so I fucked that up. So let me get the. Ah, oh, that's why. If I go like that, yeah, I got it. All right, one more second. I'll be right back. Hold on. All right, let's go. Yes. <clears throat> Welcome to my spaceship. This is Space Jam 2 right here. We're in the Space Jam 2, the Martian Mobile. Oh, yeah. See Monster Squad over there. It's very beautiful. So how's everybody doing? Pretty good? Hold on one second. Let me see why that's not working. Oh. I'm so stupid. There you go. That works much better. All right. All right, so cut the music. There it is. And, uh, you know, uh, let me see here. I'm going to, I have a couple things I wanted to go over. Um, I know there aren't that many people here. Um, and it's by choice, by the way, because, you know, whoever wants to join, it's all good. You know, I switched up content, as you know, uh, just recently. I'm almost going to be at 3,000 subs on subscribers on YouTube with the content that I've been working really hard at. Um, and it's something that you do. You chip away at stuff. And uh, I learned that about life. You got to um, truly, like, put your your 100 percent effort into something especially you know something like youtube or something you know just in general and what you're going to be working at so um i'm really excited about that i'm grateful for that because the numbers were like dude i was stagnant um i was not moving i was not increasing uh my subscriber base uh for a, a long long time since january i would say like I really was stuck in that 1600 to 1700 range and I was not moving at all. And as of right now, I'm at 2,922 subscribers. Um, a lot has happened this week because of uh, the NBA schedule going out there and stuff like that. So a lot of my videos were getting, a lot of the videos that I've been doing that were like a month ago or a few weeks back are getting more uh, views and a lot more uh, new subs subscribers that are coming in from that so i see the fruits you know you lay it in there they're like little seeds and for those who are actually interested in 
like thinking, well, I want to try YouTube. I want to try something like this. I want, you know, like how, how could, uh, uh, how do I get into this and how do I uh, be a bit more, I guess, set yourself up for some success, you know? And it's slow, it's been slow, but it's been good. It's been pretty good growth, steady. I only have like 300 uh, videos uh, within about five weeks that I've been doing on NBA stuff, very, very short clips. And this is a saturated sort of uh, topic to cover because there's a lot of people doing uh, NBA basketball stuff and you're competing with ESPN, you're competing with Fox Sports, you're competing with big, big players instead of, let's say, the Howard Stern niche that I used to do. It was very niche. So it's a very tight, small, smaller community. So it's easier to find. Uh, you, you'll you know, jump up in search results pretty easily. Uh, so, but as far as the NBA, you know, you're kind of scattered about amongst all these different people. And I didn't realize that until I actually started doing it. And then you see other people doing pretty much uh, similar stuff that I have. So uh, anyhow, let's see here. So I don't give a fuck about, um, you know, if people say, oh, he only has, uh, he only has two people in there now. <laughs> I, I really don't give a fuck uh, because that's not the whole objective. It's like when you start something new, of course, uh, you're gonna have to start from the bottom and you're gonna have to grow from there. And I already know that I will get to that point very, very quickly and very soon uh, because of the, all the hard work that I'm putting in now and the seeds that I'm planting now. So if you are interested in doing like YouTube shit or whatever, and like, oh, I'm thinking of doing a channel, I'm interested, hey, what's up, Ian Undercover? Like, hey, I'm interested in touching upon this subject because literally I feel, I'm, I'm really confident in like the fact that I could switch over from Howard Stern Universe to a, a totally different uh, topic of uh, basketball and still find some success like if you see all the activity that's been going on on my channel now you see a lot of people are really um getting into it and uh they're they're very accepting as far as uh and complimentary on my style pr presentation as far as how i deliver because i've had a lot of experience now from doing the howard stern stuff and then the podcast most people know me for like the uh the late late night cast that we've been having a lot of good times with and stuff like that the jimmer and am show and etc hey what's up victor lions tv your third yes you well maybe you are actually uh, but i just want this to be more of a chill cast and you know if there are new nba it's going to be a while for all the new nba subs to come in here because i haven't really um said anything about doing live shows to them and the YouTube, al the YouTube algorithm is one crazy son of a bitch, man. It is hard to understand a lot of these things. Uh, notifications don't go out and things like that. Um, I don't want to get into the logistics and all the details of it because it's pretty boring, but uh, it is pretty crazy. There's a lot of changes going on. So you just have to kind of like um, uh, be on the up and up. I did video calls today with Gizor and Cynthia called in. I have no idea what you're talking about, bro. <laughs> mm. Oh, on your channel? Are you talking about that, Victor? Are you talking about your channel? I should probably have Discord up since it's more of a chill night if people want to talk. I don't mind talking, dude. Um, and I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with this basketball, the baller cast, as I'm going to call it. Um, Clearly, what you see right now is not what you're going to be getting. Uh, it's going to be way different. This is just more of like, fuck it, just do it. And uh, let's see who will come in and I'll welcome the new subscribers or whoever. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. I just want to like chill out with people, new people and some of the older people that came over here and uh, just hang out for a bit and see where it goes, see where, where the night takes us. Um, but as far as like structure and stuff like that, I don't really have a structure right now. It's just like, we've been watching videos here and there. Um, 
And uh, so it'll take me a little bit before I actually, I'm going to come back on screen at a certain point when I, uh, I, I probably closer towards the, uh, after the season starts. So after, after the basketball season starts, there's going to be a lot more activity. And then I'm going to start marketing myself that I'm live streaming, uh, whether it's every single night, most likely, at least for an hour. Um, and uh, that'll bring in a lot more things. I'll probably recreate a new Discord so that people uh, could get, you know, connected with one another there. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to be like so heavily involved in the discord stuff because i don't want drama and all that shit. uh i don't want to have to deal with anybody i just want people to talk basketball and uh talk whatever they want you know uh if they could find some sort of uh, common ground that's cool too or make friends that's that's good for me but um you know i've definitely learned a lot though from everything that i've done and created um and there's no doubt about it. i mean i walk i could walk away from something so uh, I guess in a small way, because it, I can't, I can't say, well, 80, 80 live viewers to a hundred sometimes. I think we hit 97 at one point, um, live viewers, uh, for four to six hours, sometimes longer, uh, it is, is a big success, but it, it is awesome. It's great. I, uh, I learned a lot from it. Um, Hey, what's up, Michael Sachs Jr.? So let me see if I could create another Discord channel here, just a temporary thing. If you guys want to hop in, you can. I'll give you guys the uh, invite within the YouTube chat. Uh, I'll even open up phone lines in a bit, and then uh, we could just relax, chill, man. Where's the songs? Where's the song, motherfucker? Give me some background music here. So, and uh, you know, I, that's not a good song to chill to. The fuck? Let me see here. Um, you would think, yeah, 97 was good. I mean, it was just real slow growth, Victor. And, um, and there was just too much going on. And I can't get into specifics, but hey, you know what? Um, all I have to say is I win. I always win. Everything I put my, uh, my mind to you, my heart to you, dude, I win. Because I'm a fucking hard worker. And I, I grind. If you go see my channel right now, you'll see exactly what I'm doing. I work my fucking ass off creating stuff. And I don't mind helping people. The people that have reached out to me who wanted help. Psh, no problem, dude. I, I'll help you. Um, you know, if it's really something that you're interested in doing. Um, so let me see if I could create a server. How do you create a server? I'll just put baller cast for now. Yeah. It's a bomb. Hold on one second. Let me go ahead and add something else here. Let me see here. All right. <laughs> I'm a baller, that's why. Call waiting room. Oh, fuck. Fuck that up. Holy shit. Sorry, guys. I'm a little out of sorts here. How's everybody doing, by the way? Everybody good? Let's see. Do we have any new ballers in here? Do we have any new subscribers that are ballers that love the NBA? Let me see here. What's up, Shvug Buzz, you cunt? Hey, what's up, Kimmy? Kim Perot, here's my temporary Discord if you want to go in there. There's a call waiting section. Uh, we can chill. Uh, man, but a lot of shit happened this week for NBA. That's why like uh, my my YouTube channel was popping this week. And um, it was slow for a while because, again, you know, we're out of the season. We've been out. But uh, I've been slowly chipping away, getting a lot of um, new subscribers. Here's the thing, though. Um, so... I think I switched switched up to NBA about five weeks ago, and I basically lost about almost three hundred of my Howard Stern followers. Uh, about three, almost three hundred uh, Howard Stern subscribers for my channel. 
which is which which is pretty much what I expected or you know I thought there would probably be a lot more and uh but then I gained almost 400 to 500 new subscribers and right now when I was just literally at 1700 when I pretty much put an end to my old format and stuff I'm at 2900 something subscribers I'm almost at 3000 so basically by the weekend's end, I will be definitely above 3,000 subscribers. So, um, thank you, Kimmy. Um, so, the th yes, the NBA schedule came out today. So, that's why a lot of people were like, hey, you know, um, probably searching for shit on YouTube about the NBA stuff. So, uh, and then a lot of my older stuff that I did, um, videos that I created maybe a month or two months ago, they're starting to um, be promoted out into suggested uh, YouTube sections uh, for NBA. People who are looking for NBA videos. And again, I only have 300 uh, some videos that I created within five weeks or so, which is quite a lot if you ask any YouTuber. Um, I, I'm averaging about seven, about seven to eight videos per day since for the past five, six weeks now. So um, I'm publishing all that, editing it, et cetera, and all that. But uh, yeah, man, do we have to have big balls to be in this baller cast? Yes, you do. So you must leave, Gizar, because you have a pussy. You have a pussy, man. Uh, did I give you guys the link to the uh, Discord? So I don't care who calls in. Again, I think I did another uh, stream the other night where i was just like hey i'll answer any question you want and then i had a whole, whole bunch of trolls man i think i took care of them very very well and I, I wish for them to come in too so i could talk to them again uh because i probably have a lot more to say because <laughs> honestly i don't give a fuck man i don't give two fucks <laughs> you have huge balls well that's not good you should have a huge cock your ball should be a little bit tinier than your uh your cocky Mm. so yeah the um the nba schedule came out today for those who are nba fans i hope you the, the nba subscribers say hi man so i know who you guys are hey what's up rex nice to see you man um and uh again i don't know what other people are saying about me i just could assume that they're still talking about me which is fine because again I, I don't give a fuck i don't care uh, there's some people that uh, have messaged me privately saying how much they miss the old format and all this stuff, and I get it. But uh, <laughs> uh, again, I don't care what they say because the truth is um, I'm killing them in no matter what I do. I, I swear, I could talk about fucking My Little Pony, and I was still I will still come on top. That's what she said. You know what I'm saying? So... I realize that uh, people are interested in the way that I will uh, present information. And again, I'm only like five weeks into doing NBA stuff yet. There's a lot of love I'm getting from comments, uh, people saying, uh, you know, it's unique, it's different. Even though I'm doing something so like simple, all I'm doing is really reporting or um reading trending nba topics and stuff like that and uh i try to put um a little bit of spin on it and then i've been cursing too some people like that and uh, some people don't because some people mention to me like there's this one guy he's like hey dude if you if you stopped cussing if you stopped cursing on your videos you actually would be something really good in in the nba uh like uh, news thing and i'm like okay well maybe i guess i guess i guess he has a point because if you do curse you're kind of pushing away everybody um that you know might be christian or whatever the fuck <laughs> you know that have uh some sort of thing where they just don't want to hear that kind of stuff you know it's not something that they want to hear and listen to um so i get that point i could reach a bigger audience of course but then again you limit yourself because i feel like man it kind of sets me apart because it comes out 
naturally it's not like i'm forcing it i'm talking as a fan at the same time and then i'm talking as just ever that you know like a guy that you guys become to you know you you have known me hey what's up jimmer's the real g murder city london what's up bro are you uh a new subscriber from the basketball videos i'm th i'm thinking i've never seen you before but uh yeah uh so it's kind of cool though but mostly i've been receiving a lot of love um from this new community and uh i'm optimistic about it uh very much so uh i have a lot of goals that i want to take care of and as you guys know I, I moved up to bakersfield what's up brian doyle um and I want to get the fuck out of here. You know, I'm going to go back to where I'm from, which is Orange County, you know, so I could go back to Staples Center and watch some goddamn games. No Clipper games, though, just Laker games. But that's going to cost me an arm and a leg to get back down there. And, uh, you know, and the Laker game tickets are going to be so goddamn expensive now. Uh, by the way, uh, the Lakers are going to be the most televised NBA team this upcoming season. They have 43 televised games. They, they play 82 games, right? They have 43. Uh, no, I don't have the cash. Uh, I'll hopefully one day I will. I'm going to work my ass off here on YouTube. I'm going to keep on doing what I got to do, bro. Uh, Murder City London, here from the Stern days, but a fan regards. I oh, appreciate that, man. Uh, you know, I wish I could do Stern stuff, but uh, uh, they really come 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 at you with uh, copyright strikes. I would still do it if they would allow me to just like com uh, do commentary on Howard TV shit. But um, I've gotten some channels, <laughs> I've gotten some channels deleted, so I can't take that risk for me right now because this main channel is literally. Uh, my living and what I have to do as far I mean, basically it's my career. It's my business. It's something that I'm running. Um, oh, you have, Victor? I didn't know that you were here from the Stern days. I thought you were just uh, here recently from the TCAP days or uh, something like that. But that's cool, man. Because I, honestly, I didn't really do TCAP stuff. Um, just in the very beginning... I wish you guys could see that. I wish I could play my To Catch a Predator commentary shit because I used to be very vicious too. Um, if, if you ever saw, I doubt it because uh, I was really new to YouTube. That was my first, um, like that was my first month of doing YouTube. And I think I had l about a less than a hundred subscribers. And uh and I was doing Shark Tank reviews, commentary, and I was doing TCAP reviews. And uh, I think I got a bullying strike for one of them. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how. Um, and then I got a, uh, a copyright strike for a Hanson versus Predator episode that I did. So, yeah, man. Um, anyhow, I put in the... Uh, here, let me open, open up phone lines if you guys want to talk. Otherwise, I could play some clips that I have ready. Because um, I don't know how many NBA... I don't know when the NBA crew is going to start coming in. Probably in a few months. And there, it'll be... A, you know, I'm expecting a lot more live viewers for sure. Uh, especially when the season starts. Because I could already see the trend. All right, cool. Here, let me go ahead and plug in that Discord. That's a temporary Discord, by the way. So it's just for people who want to be in, I don't know, just talk, call waiting, whatever. We don't have to talk about NBA stuff. You can talk about whatever we want. It's just Friday night, just chilling out, man. Howard, Stead, Howard Stern is dead, remember? You're right. <laughs> he is dead, man. It was so pathetic. I heard a... The first time I heard Howard um, for a very long time was last night. I had uh, the SiriusXM app running um, because somebody allowed me to have the SiriusXM app. They shared it with me, and I can tell you who. Anyhow, I was using that person's SiriusXM, so I was just listening while I was editing videos last night. And then Howard was talking about, um, I don't know, some controversy that's going on. 
yesterday. I, I don't even fucking know. I, I was not even paying attention. But I heard him say uh, some guy was uh, like suicidal or depressed or some shit. Um, and he was asking Howard for advice. And Howard's like, what do you want from me? Why well, would I give you advice? Here, let me bring Billiam in because maybe Billiam will uh, help me remember this. Bill? Yo. Hey, dude, I was talking about Howard because um, I just listened for the very first time in years. Yesterday, last night, I started listening, right, to one of the new shows. I guess it was this week. Did they have, were, were they live this week? I don't even know. Yeah. Okay. So uh, he was talking. There was, there was a caller who called in and he was depressed or something. He wanted Howard's advice over it or some shit. Do you, do you remember that? Did you listen to that at all? Um, that I episode? don't remember that one exactly, but what's hey, what's up, up LED? Anyhow, he was just like, it's it was like he was begging people to uh, subscribe to um, Sirius. <laughs> Howard was oh, begging God. people. Yeah, he said that, and I was like, dude, I never heard Howard ever beg anybody to subscribe to Sirius to tune into the Howard Stern show. It was it was weird. So that's why you know somebody said Howard Stern's dead. So. Like, remember, uh, and I was like, yeah, then I realized, wow, like Howard asking people to subscribe, basically, to series to listen to him is uh, beyond me. I, I would not think that that would be the case. I guess he doesn't have many subscribers. I don't know how that's working, but. They have 33 anyway. million subscribers, but half of them are new cars that go out on the road every single day. Yeah, I mean, um, again, if you look at his YouTube channel, right? I mean, it's worse than Jimmy Kimmel's YouTube channel and Jimmy Fallon's YouTube channel. We're talking about the Howard Stern Show um, YouTube channel, which only has, I'm going to pull it up right now, Howard Stern Show, I think like 200-something thousand subscribers, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong here. Let me see. The Howard Stern Show has 238,000 subscribers. And if you look at, let's say, Jimmy Fallon or Jimmy Kimmel. Let's, Jimmy Kimmel, since uh, Jimmy Kimmel's his buddy. Jimmy Kimmel has 12.6 million compared to Howard Stern's 200,000 subs. That's depressing. That's really depressing, dude. Anyhow, what's up, Bill? Nothing much. Um, uh, I'm just i I did a lot of cooking today to get ready for my uh, party soon, and um, was it I, my birthday's on Monday? So. Oh yeah, your birthday, man. Yeah, are you gonna do something fun? Yeah, I mean, I'm going out with friends, and I'm hanging out, so that'll be fun yeah hey how's the um you said you had some anxiety or some shit yeah um i think my parents are starting to tell me now they think i need to go see a doctor because i've been having anxiety attacks dude it's been like rough so you're having anxiety attacks and shit yeah and, uh, i had like one at, at work. work the other day i like lost all focus and i couldn't think straight for like two or three minutes Oh, okay, man. Yeah. And then the other day at the dentist where I had tight chest and my BP shot up to 160 over 100 during an anxiety attack. Well, it's because you're nervous, right? I mean, anybody. Yeah. Because yeah. I heard, uh, like, you go into the dentist's office and most, like, some people are so nervous that when they shoot you up with that Novocaine, it doesn't work because you're so nervous and anxious that the Novocaine just does not work. Um, and so they have to reschedule you when that happens. And that's very frequent that that happens, that uh, um, people are so anxious when they're sitting in that dentist chair uh, that Novocaine uh, doesn't help them at all. They can feel everything. It, it, it does nothing. They could shoot them up with a 100 needles of Novocaine and nothing will happen. They will not go numb. Well, I went numb, luckily, so. and everything went well the last time I was at the dentist. And I, I have another appointment in 
next week and then I have another another appointment I'll have in two weeks and then uh, I'll have another appointment and then I should be good for the rest of the year yeah um yeah you just got to do some deep breathing and just try to relax deep yeah. breathing from from your stomach your lower stomach bro uh that's the thing when you deep when you breathe with your lower stomach breathe in and breathe out with your lower stomach like just above your um your cock area uh where your belly button is um it, it'll work a lot that's where it needs to happen like really deep breaths breathe deep in through there and out through there and uh and you'll 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 find a lot of uh release there but i know what you're talking about because um if you have anxiety and all that stuff you, you should definitely go to the doctor bro i mean there's no shame in that especially if yeah, it's too I know, overwhelming i, just, I don't want to go on anxiety meds you know i'm just afraid i'm afraid well one i, I already have a fear of doctors so i'm afraid to go to the doctor as is and then like it's just another thing i've realized is that like i'm not supposed to be this worried about stuff all the time well is it interfering with your f daily functions or are you still able to do pretty much everything you've been able to do i'm still pretty much able to do everything that i've been able to do but um uh what is it just like it's just I don't know. Like I have these mini anxiety attacks where I just like it. Honestly, you want to know the funny thing is I get an anxiety. I got an anxiety attack every time I called in the Stern show. My chest would tighten up. And every time Howard picked up, I would have a hard time breathing. <laughs> well, you don't have that problem anymore because he doesn't pick up on you. <laughs> he may have pick up again. You never know. Yeah, what happened, dude? Why why don't you try to call? I haven't been calling, dude. I've been working during the show mostly because I work mornings. Yeah. But who knows? Yeah, just try, man. Who cares? Just say, just come up with some crazy story. You know what I'm saying? Well, I have ideas. Don't worry. Just lie. Just I'm gonna be fucking someone, you know, or some. You know, it's my birthday. I'm gonna, you know, some. I don't know. He doesn't give a shit cares man fuck with them fuck with howard now oh come on now but dude if you can function then you're okay you just maybe need some tools like you need a therapist maybe that'll help a lot like you just need to talk to a therapist here and there but as far as me medication i think that's like the last resort you know if you're if you're not able to function then yeah you're gonna have to consider going on meds but since you're at a point where you're able to function here you can start controlling that those panic attacks and all these things because i've been through that too um just like by simply talking to a therapist on a regular basis and uh, that'll help you a lot give they'll give you a lot of tools to use to to get through that kind of stuff you know and it seems like you're okay so far it's not like you're a severe sort of uh situation so i would i wouldn't try to i wouldn't be worried about your situation now because especially with medication i don't think they'll give you meds right right off the bat it's more of a last resort type deal i know yeah, that exactly. by experience. yeah and i only know that by experience so think of it that way that that's a positive you know so like i think you going to a therapist that's pretty cool you know you can talk to them you know get out whatever you have to get out and that'll that'll help out tremendously like as far i don't know what the cause of your panic attacks are or what triggers it is it, is it just random or is it just like a social situation it's, it's random i mean it depends on the situation okay but at least you know so the fact that you know you're going through a panic attack uh that should ease your mind because you're not gonna die you're not nothing bad's gonna happen you know you're just suffering a panic attack so that in itself knowing that you're already above ahead of the game i guess because some people don't even know what panic attacks are never experienced it and it's horrible it's the worst fucking thing and then but at least you have that you know what it is you've experienced it before so you know like um I don't think you have to be on medication just from what I'm listening to right now. I think 
therapy will help just being able to talk to someone here and there and a professional um it it i think yeah. that would be the right way to go especially in there right now uh so yeah i mean embrace that shit i would go to a therapist why not they'll listen to you for 30 minutes yeah i mean i'll i'll work it out but um yeah. how are you doing i'm doing good man maybe you could fuck your therapist no i'm kidding <laughs> uh-huh. yeah uh, I'm doing all right, man. I'm I'm good. Just working. Working my ass. Making NBA videos. Sure am. It's, you know, it's hard work, but someone's got to do it, right? But uh, you know what? I enjoy it. And uh, yeah, it, it's, it's crazy, man. It is a crazy sort of deal because I'm switching over from two different things. I mean, I mean, you're talking about Howard Stern to NBA basketball. You know, those are like polar opposites you know so yeah but, exactly. I, but i'm finding success in it so i feel like it's not the topic that i discuss it's more of um the experience of um everything that i've experienced on you youtube all the stuff that i've learned uh you know being able to speak uh doing a lot of the podcasts that we've done for the past god knows how many months now you've been with me since january so eight months right uh it's helped me tremendously in being able to like speak and stuff like publicly and not be so anxious and stuff like that and uh afraid and being on camera early on was like a huge help to me because i never would think of myself doing that and i did it and i you know i'm gonna do it again it's just at a right time uh, when the basketball season starts and I'm ready to start doing real live streaming uh, for that specific, uh, you know, like the basketball fans, you know. So, yeah, man, it's good. I'm doing all right. All right. Well, um, I'm probably going to head off to bed soon because I got work in the morning. I got a actually really busy day tomorrow, but – um. Hope everything goes well, and I'll talk to you later, man. All right, bro. Peace out. Peace out. Good hearing from you. All right. Oh, we got a special guest tonight. <laughs> it's <laughs> Kenny Television. What's up? Hey, what's up, Kenny Television? Yeah, I'm gonna do a sports thing once a week. Yeah. Well, you're gonna you're sports. gonna do a what? I'm gonna do a sports show once a week. Wild world of sports. Why is poker sport? They say World Series is poker. That should be in the game show network because it's not a sport. What do you mean you're going to do a sports show? I'm going to do a sports show. Talk about sports and make fun of stuff like poker. That's not sport. Why is that ESPN? <laughs> who called it's, that a? Who oh, called a, Who called that a sport? Somebody called that a sport or something? Yeah, ESPN puts on the World Series of poker every year, and I'm like, drunk people gambling is not a sport. Why don't you just have chicken? Two people driving each other, and the first one that hits the brakes is a chicken. So what? What other? What other? Uh, like, do you, would you call table tennis or ping pong a sport? Yeah, I would because you know it's like the inside version of tennis. Yeah, okay, but what NASCAR about NASCAR? Definitely should not be a sport. Come on, man! How what? Is that a sport? You're just driving in a circle. NASCAR. And if you make a big mistake and crash into the wall, oh. you can die. And okay. so that, I don't agree with you there. They are, they're somewhat of athletes. I mean, they're, they have a lot like that, that's a coordination skills, all this other stuff, man. NASCARs, look, I'm not a NASCAR fan, but I'm just saying that's a sport, though. I would, is golfing a sport? I would assume so, right? I would say golfing is a sport. Um, what else is a sport? So the card games is not a sport. Maybe I agree with you on that. I mean, I, I, I don't think just it would categorize it. The network. Oh, they're on ESPN because I don't know. They it draws attention. Poker. What you never played? Uh, um, Texas Hold'em. Yeah, I played a little Texas Hold'em with my friends. Are you any good? No, but you know, I'm not I playing figured. in a series, so You're not playing in a series. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to love that shit, but uh uh let me see here. What else is not a sport, Kenny? 
Uh, let me see if I get the. Uh, how about darts? Throwing darts at a board on a wall. Definitely <laughs> not. Come on. All right, maybe it's a little bit of a sport. It's a game. Okay, Joe's Sports Channel wants to call in. I already know who this person is, so uh, th this is. Uh, um, all right, I'll take his call, I guess. I mean, do I really give a shit? You want to call in? Why don't you just come into the Discord, uh, Joe Booney? Instead of hiding behind a name. Just, call, just come into the Discord, dude. It's really I simple. I don't call it Wild World of Sports because if I make fun of poker, it's the Wild World of Sports. Well, I love poker. Um, I, I used to go to Las Vegas and I actually played in tournaments there. In wow. Las Vegas. Yeah. yeah. I mean, not that I won any, but I did go play. Cool. Yeah. All right, Joe Booney, why don't you come in here, you little cunt? Joe Sports <laughs> Channel. It's on YouTube right there. So I could talk to your ass. I'll be nice to you. Don't worry. Tell your mommy everything will be fine. I am a fan of Lynn. Okay, sorry. I'm, I'm going off topic here. I'm reading some of the comments that I'm getting from uh, YouTube. I mean, they put... I'm being serious. Why don't they put like two guys driving at each other? And the first one that hits the break is a chicken. If they're going to put both on the ESPN. Hey, so how's everything going, Ken? It's going fine. Yeah. How's, uh, what's the status on your 24-7 uh, stream? Well, we're promoting it. I don't know when it's going to happen. You, you excited about it? I'm excited. That's cool. <laughs> so you haven't... Have you gotten a job yet or no? Are you still fucking unemployed? I'm looking for a job in September. The assistant manager, what? I've been working for all summer doing volunteer work and stuff, and I'm going to get rehired, but not working at the high school, get work at the junior high. Wait. Oh, so okay. You're going to work at a junior high? Company. They all work for the same, the same corporation, does all the kitchen stuff for the whole Mamaronek schools. So it's pretty much the same job, just... That's cool. A lower-functioning kitchen. Yeah, but that's a job. That's pretty goddamn good, bro. Everybody helps with the dishes, so dishes don't take that long, and I know also help assist the guy that collects all the food and the dirty dishes from all the schools in the Mamaronek school system. All right, so there you go, man. You got a job. Did your uh, jobbing, your job coach or whoever get that for you? No. No. <laughs> All right, so you got it yourself just through the paper? Well, no, my, my, my father talked to her and stuff and... Yes. Hey, you know what, Kenny, though? Congratulations because... Um, I haven't watched any, like, I haven't seen any of your live stream. I, I kind of popped in and out because somebody sent me links to it. And I am subscribed, by the way. But uh, right. the, at least, dude, let me tell you something, dude. You're doing better than idiots that have been doing this for, uh, I'm talking about uh, Saiyans Entertainment and Unbleach. You're doing better than them, bro. <laughs> Well, they like, didn't hook on to the way Or as it. you're doing as good or better. I think you're doing better than that idiot, uh, Matthew Stearns, but uh, you're definitely they doing. Somebody that like, put that, that guy high pitch on um, was his producer. If they hooked on to somebody like that. Well, the, that guy is low. I mean, that guy has nothing over there. The guy had Jackie Martling on one of his shows, I believe, recently, oh, and God. nobody. Six when, when people. I, six. Said, yeah. I said I hope the stream gets me art world. I have been, I'm already there. I've got the industry parties, I've networked. I just hope it gets me to find some people that own counties. That's what I'm talking about. Can I show you something here? Uh, guess who was on the, uh, the Gonzo Shithead Network and then how many people actually tuned in when 
they had a big guest on, Jackie the Joke Man Martling, who's a celebrity, by the way. Uh, how many how many viewers do you think they got off that uh, video on YouTube? Like, like 20,000 or not. 20,000? <laughs> yeah. Or That's pretty almost. close. You're actually really, really close right now. 30? Almost. Very, very close. How many? All right. They had a whopping, check this out, ladies and gentlemen. I shit you not. They had Jackie Martling on 10 hours ago. They had a whopping six views, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. <laughs> they had six views while Kenny's doing, uh, what do you call it? Kenny, well, you, not, you have like 200 something? Six views. <laughs> Kenny, you, ha you have like 200 something, almost 300 views. And they have Jackie Martling on. <laughs> and they got six views. What are you doing, dude? And the podcast that was before the show that was before that had three views. <laughs> <laughs> Just quit, man. And you see my views right here. I had 60,000 views in the last two days, 48 hours. I had 60,000, bitch. Check this out right up here. 20. I had in the last 60 minutes in the last hour, I had 2,500 views. You have in the last 24 hours, nine views. I mean, they have this guy that goes, <laughs> and there was, there was, wow, that's pathetic. That's why I, I mean, who am I going to fight anymore amongst the shit? Uh, but you're doing a great job. I like what you're doing over there, I mean, Ken. One day, I hope I have so many viewers watching, I can walk the chat. I think you will, bro. Rogan I think you will. That. I think you'll be fine. I mean, what? I, I see what Joe is saying. Like, he's sitting there interviewing someone like Henry Rollins. Plenty of people hate Henry Rollins. Why? Let somebody sit there and go, this guy's an asshole. This guy was a dick. And then, fuck you, Joe. Why have that there to lose his focus, right? I guess so, Ken. Yeah. I don't know. But I'm just saying you're doing a lot better than anybody else. So. You should be proud of yourself. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I am. There you are. That should be encouragement for you to continue and doing what you got to do. No, be an inter you you're watch, interesting as is. If you watch the other account, I had Monotone Matt on the other day with Weaver and Cynthia. You had Monotone Matt on your show? Yeah. Yeah, how's he doing? He's been sober for five weeks. Wow, excellent, dude. Yeah. That's awesome. I even watched Paul Hills once, and he was really funny. That's really He's cool. Song parodies and shit. That's really good to know, man, uh, because, uh, yeah, he's a good guy. I like Monito, man. He's, he's a really good guy, and the fact that he's sober for five weeks, man, that, that's, that's awesome. Monito, man, dude, congratulations, bro. I don't know if you'll ever hear me say this, but, uh, dude, I'm proud of you for everything that you've achieved, and you've been through a lot of challenges, my friend. Right, Very now, much so. So good you for know, you. I was the next rising star. I think he's the next rising star in my network. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but yes. <laughs> well, he's got the potential. I think he's got the most potential out of everybody in there. Well, that's cool, man. I'm ex excited for So you're still doing the dating scene, or are you uh, just going to be yeah. doing... I'm still Just doing the, that. So you're going to do, dude, you're a busy man. You're going to be doing your shows. You're going to, is it every single day, by the way, or is it just every, what's the schedule like for your shows on your YouTube channel? Well, I do like uh, five times a week or something. I'm not you. I don't do it every day. Hey, that's okay. You know, it'll, it'll burn you out. You know, do what, what you're comfortable with. That's the most important thing. And as long as you're having fun and, and uh, you're being treated with respect, that's all that matters. So, most uh, I could probably do six. So, I you're doing your shows. You're doing, you're going to be doing that 24 7 feed. You're going to be doing the dating thing. I mean, that's a lot of stuff, man. That's awesome. And then, and you get a job. You have a job that's coming up. So, You're Good right. job, Kenny. Periscope sucks. Periscope sucks. You're right. It does. Sorry, Periscope viewers. I oh, have no idea. Are in Periscope. There's like 
Shit talk. Oh, shit talk. Are they, uh, what are they doing? Are they trolling you? No, I'm just going like, you, you, I know you got lots of trolls on YouTube and stuff, but most of them are really lame. It's troll heaven on Periscope. To stick out and, of that kind, you have to be really inventive. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Ken, man, um, well, I'm happy for you, and you're doing good, so congratulations, bro. All right. You're carrying the torch. You're doing Thanks. what you have to do. Thanks for having me on. I mean, yep. when I walk away, I'll find a successor if I find a way to do that. What but was that again? I couldn't hear you. If I walk away, if I find something else to do, I'll find a successor to everybody. Call this guy. Or I have, this guy. I have no idea what you're talking about, but okay. I mean, when I find a YouTube sensation, when I find something else again. But I can't hear you, bro. You're like muffled. I, I can't really... Okay, when, when I find something else, I'll find the next YouTube sensation. You're going to find the next YouTube sensation, you said? Yeah, then I'm walk away. What do you mean you're going to find the next? You're the next YouTube sensation. What are you talking about, motherfucker? I'm saying one day I'm going to walk away. But... Oh, you're going to walk away one day? Yeah, <laughs> Why are you going to walk away? I, why would you walk away? I, I'm still here. I'm still doing what I'm doing. I know. So why would you walk away? I don't understand. But that might not be for years. All right. Well, all right, man. Sounds good to me. All right. All right, bro. Thanks for hanging out with me. All right. Take all, right easy. Peace. all right. So I just opened up the phone lines so that the idiot, uh, whatever his name is, Joe Sports Channel. You want to talk sports or something? You, got, you want to challenge me on something? I have no idea. I gave you the Discord link. I don't know how many times. Uh, I already know you're a troll. I know who you are. Uh, let's go ahead and get it on. Uh, Don A, uh, you, you, keep inviting, you, you keep inviting me onto your show as if that's going to do something for me, bro. Look, I have nothing against you. I really don't care, honestly. I don't know much about you. Uh, but here's my answer to you no why would i go on your show bro i could just do my own show and just call it don a response or saiyan's response and i will probably get 80 people in here if i did that i did baller cast right now for a reason because i wanted to go ahead and have some of the new people come in here and i could just say hi i had one or two earlier and they said hi and i'm glad i met them and that's all that mattered to me i mean Dude, if I have something to say, all I have to do is come to my channel. I have nothing to say on your channels. It has nothing to do against you, my friend. But uh, I have no benefit going on there and doing anything or being interviewed by anybody. <laughs> I mean, you want to talk, you called in for the last two days. You already had the talk. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly what you expect me to do by going on your show. Because uh, I really have nothing to say. Um, and if I did have something to say, I'd just come on here and do it myself. I'm a, I'm a genius like that somehow. So. And if I, if I labeled this a different title, if I said uh, Jimmer Nam is back, I'd probably have 80 people in here. So it's very, very simple. I mean, it's not about the views. It's not about um, anything else. Uh, I'm just here to chill with some people that I've been friends with and I've known for a long time, which I want to say shout out to Prince Noob Sauce, Mo Sitter, Gizor. I know he was in here earlier. Vid Gam Nut, James Gum, Michael Sachs Jr., uh, Hacks Against Hacks. What's up, bro? Uh, who else am I missing here? Because uh, I was busy talking to Kenny. Um, by the way, go ahead and subscribe to Kenny's uh, YouTube channels plural he's got two that's how big he is party boy 6969 what's up uh i'm going to a casino in oklahoma in a couple of weeks okay what are you gonna do what are you gonna do at that casino are you a slot machine person how many people here are slot machine people i don't i never understood slot machines dude i can net i cannot get into fucking slot machines i'm sorry i just can't i gotta do card games um i was heavily into blackjack way in the back in the day in my 20s um i used to love blackjack and then i switched over to 
uh, Texas Hold'em. And then I realized I love craps. I love shooting craps, baby. Craps is so fucking awesome. <laughs> I love craps. I love learning about it. I love like everything about that game for some reason, man. It's just exciting. It's fun, especially when you have a good table that's full. Everybody's pumped, you know, and then you got that one shithead that always bets against the whole table and you want to beat the motherfucker up. That happens in Las Vegas. Yeah, it happens a lot. Uh, who else am I saying hi to? Let me see here. Thanks for billion for calling in. That's cool. LED, I think I gave you a shout out. Thank you. Um, you want 3,000 one night on slots? Yeah, dude. I got friends um, that I used to go to. Um, oh, Joe Sports. Here he is. Booney Boys here. Hey, what's up, Joe Sports? How I know you? who you, you are. My, you know what? Thank you very much for the Discord. It's absolutely a privilege. You're doing well on your show, man. Don't deal with the nonsense and the bullshit and keep doing what you're doing, man. I'm with you. Who are you exactly? I don't know. I never spoke well, to you before. I never spoke with you either, but I watched your shows a couple of times, and I'm a sports commentator. I update all the sports news every week live on Facebook on Joe Booney. Then on Joe Booney goes to Joe Sports Channel on YouTube, and then my fans go on there and watch it. I have a few fans out there. Actually, I'm going to school for broadcasting to take a course to work for Fox Sports, Fox News one day. So uh, it's absolutely a privilege. I have a question for you. Uh, what was the whole deal with you and – the Ian Ellis people, were they fucking with you or were you, were they trolling you or are no, you no, actually no. They, were, they were actually being nice to me, actually. I, uh, they invited me to Discord and I didn't really know nothing about Discord. So I invited them on there and I was watching uh, one of their shows and I watch Unbleach and all of them. And I, I don't, I'm not against anybody. Everybody's shows doing well. And I don't usually make fun of this show, this show, because it's not worth it, man. It's not worth it at all. So. I just go on there to enjoy love. I don't hate anybody. I'm not racist. I'm just proud to stand who I am, my friend. Okay, because, I mean, I don't know a whole lot about you. I heard your name, and I know, like, it was Joe Sports Channel. But I thought they were fucking with you or trolling you or 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 you were them. I had no idea who you were. So yeah. it's a pleasure meeting there's you, a lot I guess. Of, there's a lot, a lot of people who... Uh, you know, who don't like me and like me, you know, there's going to be ups and downs. But what you're doing, man, I'm telling you right now, I don't care what anybody says about you. You're doing a phenomenal job and you got to keep that up, man. You're going to go really far in life, my friend. Wow. I appreciate that. And, I'm, and uh, I appreciate that. Yeah, I don't know why you. you called me whatever, a cunt, whatever. That's okay. I'm sorry. Well, dude, I don't know anything about you. I just, uh, all I heard was you affiliated with people that have been trolling me forever so you know i don't no, know i dude. have never trolled you i have never said anything really harmless to you you okay? have not I, I i joke yeah. around a lot with people but i actually i have i don't know you so why would i make fun of you you're a good guy you're, you have a good show you do what you do you can talk about anybody and it's a freedom of speech and you're doing well man you have, have a lot of viewers and you know what keep up the great work my friend i have a question to ask you actually all right here we go um, I'm into the sports, a big sports, and I'm a big into LeBron James fan. What do you think about LeBron James leaving from Cleveland to L.A.? Does L.A. get a championship? Does L.A. make the playoffs of the first round, or does L.A. not make the playoffs this year? L.A.'s definitely going to make the playoffs this year, guaranteed. There's no way I see LeBron James not making the playoffs, period. And and you know what? The Lakers aren't too bad. I don't know why yeah. Lakers are getting the fucking – uh the rap that they're getting that they suck and then all this shit dude we got a fucking young core out here that's good i mean you got brandon ingram kyle kuzma uh look lonzo ball he's still good he's a good efficient player now he added rajon rondo lance stevenson i mean these are guys who are going to be able to help and i think they're going to come out of the west probably the seventh or eighth seed but they're still going to make the playoffs um him coming from cleveland uh uh the the lakers i i get the move uh, he's he's LeBron is going to be retiring soon. Uh, so he has a lot of ties out here in Los Angeles. And then he's got his son, Bronny, who is going to be coming out here playing with uh, Scottie Pippen's son and things like that. So uh, it's a good future for his son. And then uh, Shaq's uh, son just uh, committed to UCLA. I, I yeah. see Bronny actually committing to a L.A. school as well whether it's USC or UCLA. So I say US, USLA because I think uh, that's a better opportunity for him to go to the NBA. Absolutely. So I think uh, it's a business deal, yes, but at the same time, will they win a championship? I think there'll be, there's four years there. I know he's got three years. He could opt out on the fourth year. 
there's no way in hell he's opting out. Uh, that 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 would look really weird. Where would he go? Back to Cleveland? Back to? It th- doesn't make any I sense. I think I think he's gonna retire as a uh, as a Cavalier, sign one more contract with Cleveland, and finish his career in Cleveland. That's a possibility. He has there. There are reports that that say that he he is op- He's open to going back to Cleveland for maybe a one day sort of contract, just to retire as a Cleveland Cavalier because he loves Akron, Ohio, where he's from. But um, I think he has a good chance in the next three years because 2019, I believe there will be another superstar coming, whether it's Clay Thompson, Kawhi Leonard, uh, even Draymond Green, whoever it would be, uh, there's going to be someone coming and they're going to be good. Lakers are going to be good uh, the, the next season. This season, they'll, they'll be good. They're just not gonna. They're not gonna win a championship. I'll, I'll be realistic about that. Yeah, they, there's no goddamn I, yeah. way they're I, winning a goddamn I agree. championship. I, would, I agree with you on actually 100 percent on that. Um, LeBron James, you know, I think why he went to LA is not only because of the money. I think he could have got a lot more money somewhere else, but I think he went there because of family and because all the business around Los Angeles. Like LA is a huge. You got California. You got Golden State beside. It. Yep. You got you got everything beside. It. You know, California is a huge state, my friend. You know. Yeah, and he's into the entertainment sort of business now. So where's a perfect place to be? Uh, with the Lakers and not with the Clippers, with the Lakers and in Hollywood. I mean, and, and he's doing it, man. And, and there, there's going to be a Space Jam 2 uh, that's slated, and he's going to be doing that. There's a lot of production value. He's got a podcast thing. I think it's called Uninterrupted or something on HBO or some show. Uh, that yep. he's uh, partners with Draymond Green. So there's a lot of business transactions that's going on. So he's setting himself up to become yep. a, a a fucking mogul, a business mogul, just like Magic Johnson, just like Kobe Bryant. So after his career is over, because again, he's heading into that, the latter part of his, uh, you know, once you hit the mid thirties as an NBA player, you're pretty much done just like the NFL. Uh, yep. So you know, you got to think about what you're going to do in the future. LeBron James, one of the greatest players. Uh, I think he's going to bring one championship to L.A., period. Uh, I hope you so. Know, it'll happen in the second or third year. But other than that, I don't see him winning back-to-back or anything like that. I think if he if they could bring a star in here next 2019, a Kawhi Leonard type uh, star or even a Clay yeah. Thompson, I think they can make some noise and, and actually beat the Golden State Warriors because the Warriors they have a lot of fucking decisions to make right now. They got to say they got to do something about Clay Thompson. They got to do something about Draymond Green. Uh, are they going to be able to pay all these guys? Yeah, they got KD. KD could leave if he wanted to. He might go to LA. Who knows? You just don't think, know what I happens think, in 2019. Uh, I think KD uh, wants to be on a uh, winning championship team. That's his whole goal, you know, Jim and M. Do you think there's a possibility that KD could actually want to go back to OKC and make good with them? Like yeah, what LeBron yes, did and yes, say, hey, yes. I want to win a championship with West, Russell Westbrook and Paul George. You know, it's a possibility. That's a so. tough. That's actually a very smart question, a tough question to ask. Um, I think I think if it comes down to it, like two, three years down the road, like for end of his career, I think he could go back and maybe win a championship with Russell Westbrook because you know what? He, you know, he's good in Golden State. He's a big star, but in OKC, he was a bigger star because OKC didn't have too many superstars. You know what I mean? Like Stephen yeah. Adams and all that, and Westbrook. They need, I think, they need Kevin uh, Kevin Durant back, and that team will be a winning championship team. And I think OKC needs a championship in the next five years. It's, it's, you know, they always make the playoffs. They go sometimes far, but this last couple of years, man, without KD. They haven't been the same. The threes haven't been the same. The twos, the shooting points, just hasn't been the same, man. You know what? I think KD will do very well if he goes back to OKC, and the fans will appreciate him a little bit more, not burning his jersey and disrespecting. You know? And a lot of people disrespect people's jersey. You know what? You guys need to stop with that. Sports, at the end of the day, it's <laughs> all money. You work. You earn it. You do that. Okay, you're upset because he left. Well, he left for more money. So let's say if Jim and I give him a hundred dollars, but somebody else gives him hundred fifty, he's going to take the extra fifty and go somewhere else. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes it's about money. Sometimes it's about just not being happy. Like Kawhi Leonard, it wasn't about the money. He just, just was. He just doesn't want to deal with San Antonio for some reason. The Spurs organization, how they treated him, whatever. Um, yeah. He just didn't want to be there. You know, and the fact that he's forced to go to Canada now, which is crazy and funny at the same time. Yeah, he's going to have to play his ass off now to earn the money. So, yeah, Yeah. it is about money in a sense, because he's got to play his ass off in Toronto and and make some noise over there. 
so that in 2019 he will get a max contract or something big uh, that will help his career. Because you saw Isaiah Thomas, right? I mean, did, yeah. the, the guy is making a two point some million. He's making two million dollars with the Nuggets yeah. when this guy should be making twenty million dollars. The Celtics yeah. fucked him over. But oh well. I mean, Isaiah Thomas, I don't know. The, he had bad luck with all the injuries and all this shit, but the Celtics definitely fucked him over. But. Well, the Celtics did fuck him over, and I don't know why they traded Isaiah Thomas from the first because Isaiah Thomas is playing really well, okay? They trade him off. It's like when you trade a be- your best player from hockey or football, you go somewhere else and they put you down the drain, they move you to Boston and Chicago, and it goes on and on, and you're not the same as before. You're used to your teammates, used to the coaching, you missed the, the arena, the fans around there, and you know, what it's it, it's really tough man you've been you've been around that stadium for how long and you come and move somewhere else you're about seven hours away from home you know what i mean jim and him yeah so well, well, i don't now- know why why they got rid of him um now i heard some rumors that he said some stuff to coaches and all that but you know that's rumors and all that i think he wanted to go somewhere where it's better but at the same time he didn't go somewhere where it's better he went to somewhere where it's worse and that's why his career is on the edge yeah, and he's got a, I mean, he's got something to prove in Denver now, and uh, yeah. we'll see what IT does. But man, I feel bad for him, like really yeah. bad. He lost a lot of money these last two years, a lot of fucking money, man. Uh, yeah, he but did. you know, the Celtics have a lot, dude. This NBA season is crazy. There's a lot of fucking drama. Uh, yeah. What are What are the Celtics going to do with Kyrie Irving? Are, are they going to trade him? Are they going to, you know, what are they going to do? They got to do something. Uh, I think Kyrie Irving, uh, I think they're going to re- actually resign. That's in my opinion, you know. Um, why they're resigning? Because they need a point guard who leads the team. It's like when you have, you know, um, a couple of years ago, what's his name? Was it KD, Kevin Garnett, Garnett? What's his name? Is that Kevin Garnett? Yeah, KG. Yep. KG, yeah, sorry. Uh, I should know about KG. So when KG um, was hurt, they didn't really rely on anybody. It's like, uh, I. it's like, um, Kyrie Irving. If they get rid of Kyrie Irving, they're not going to rely. They're going to rely on the rookies, and then they're not going to be a very, uh, very good team in the playoffs. So I think they should resign him for a good contract, and I think he one day should go back to Cleveland to retire as Cleveland because he made Cleveland. If Cleveland, it was Cleveland who won the champ because of Kyrie Irving, that three pointer over the Golden State Warriors, that game seven beautiful shot. That's who won the championship. Not LeBron James. It was Kyrie Irving. And people always say LeBron James. Okay, you give credit to LeBron James after that blocking by Iguodala and all that. But you got to give Kyrie Irving. To, you got to give Kyrie Irving credit, man. Well, Kyrie Irving is a superstar, and 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 to trade Isaiah Thomas for Kyrie Irving, that's a no-brainer. Of course, uh, the Celtics have to do that. Now they have an asset in Kyrie Irving. They can trade over to the uh, Brooklyn Nets for draft picks or whatever they need to do, because uh, there's no superstars in uh, on the Brooklyn Nets. They can yeah. trade them, uh, trade Kyrie Irving to uh, the New York Knicks somehow yeah. with the three three uh, team trade. So there's a lot of options. I feel the Celtics will trade Kyrie Irving before February, before that trade deadline. Because uh, honestly, I don't think I, I don't think he will be signing with uh, the uh, the C's again. I, I think they're they're happy with Jason uh, Tatum, who's a who's a stud, and then they yeah. they're happy with uh, Jalen Brown and Terry Rozier. They already have a good fucking team. All they need is to start collecting some more assets. So I think Kyrie Irving's going to be out. They're going to trade him this year. I don't think he's going to be sticking around because he's not signing an extension. So they're not going to let him walk for free. Same with Cat. Yeah. Uh, same with Cat over with the T Wolves. They're not going to yeah. let him walk. Jimmy Butler. Same with him. They're not going to let him walk. These guys are not signing ex- extensions. So they have to do something. So this NBA season is crazy. There's a lot of drama. And then 2019 free agency this coming summer. You got everybody pretty much available these big superstars that are available where are they going to go uh the landscape of the nba is going to change completely in 2019 the summer of 2019 so i'm excited about it i already saw a lot of the scheduling uh with the christmas day uh games and the ml um the martin luther king day uh you know uh games that are slated and so it's going to be so fun and, uh, I can't wait. Actually, I can't wait. I'm actually I'm Canadian. I'm from I'm lo- live in London. I'm two hours away from actually Toronto, and Toronto's a great page to go watch basketball. Or whatever, it's nuts down there. Like it's the, the Raptors. The fans. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm close to the Raptors or whatever, and all that. And I sometimes go watch games and whatever. And man, when the Lakers are in town, 
or when LeBron James is in town. Yeah, I'm talking about it feels like you're in Cleveland. It feels like you're in LA. That's how, that's how amazing the fans are in Toronto. So are you happy with Kawhi Leonard? You know what? I'm happy and I'm not happy at the same time. It's funny how you have coach of the year for Dwayne Quasey and then you go fire him. Okay. And then you go get rid of your franchise player, Tomorrow your franchise Rose. player for Kawhi Leonard, who had good two, three years, maybe more. Okay, I'm not a big Kawhi Leonard fan, but you get rid of your best franchise player and you bring this guy in. How do we know how good he's going to be? What if he gets injured? And you know what? He hasn't signed an extension contract, so he can leave after this year, Jim, or he could leave uh, during the NBA uh, uh, trade the deadline. So yeah, did we really lose the offer? Yeah, we did lose the offer. And I hope DeMar, DeMar DeRozan does well in San Antonio. He deserves it, and he deserves a championship. He made Toronto. Not Toronto made it. He made that team. It's sad for DeMar DeRozan, but um, the thing with Kawhi Leonard, see, they didn't want to pay DeMar DeRozan because they got to pay this guy almost $30 million a year because yeah. uh, I think his uh, contract was coming to an end. Are you going to be paying DeMar DeRozan that much money? So they thought, hey, you know what? We're just going to go get Kawhi Leonard for a year. Let's see what happens. If, if it doesn't work out, I could trade this Kawhi Leonard uh, for draft picks or whatever and rebuild or, or have a superstar come to Toronto uh, by trading away Kawhi Leonard. So uh, I think that's the, the motive of uh, Toronto. They just didn't want to pay DeMar DeRozan, which sucks because the guy actually was loyal to Toronto. Yeah. Uh, one of the only superstars that were actually loyal to Toronto. So it really actually, sucks uh, that that happened. saying that... Uh... DeRozan actually, if DeRozan leave, Lowry wants to leave. I wish it was the other way around, my friend. Uh, I wish Lowry left and kept DeRozan. Lowry's You're a good right. player and all that, but DeRozan's all around player. Lowry's a good three pointer, but DeRozan has better shots at twos, and he's he's he, he, he's a he's a big cl uh, clutch game. You know, like the playoffs game. I understand he's not good in the playoffs, but the regular season when they're down and out, man, they come back and it's all DeRozan keeping that team in. But San Antonio didn't want uh, Lowry. Who, why would you want him? They want the guy. The guy is yeah, the they Rosen. Want, they want the better so guy. So they got yeah, him. So there was nobody else uh, offering that type of caliber player uh, in DeRozan. So the, I think the Spurs came out big time with this guy because he's going to, I mean, he will be loyal to San Antonio. And I think he'll yeah. be a star. He'll be a stud in San Antonio. I think he'll be. be He'll play way better than he was in Toronto, even though he was great in Toronto. I think he's just going to have something else. He has a chip on his shoulder now. Uh, with Kawhi Leonard, he is not staying in Toronto. Uh, the fact that he wanted to uh, force a trade to go back home, L.A., that's where he's from. San Diego yep. State uh, University is where he went to college. He doesn't want to be in Canada. Dude, he doesn't want to be in another uh, – no, no fucking you know, shame to Canada or anything. I'm yeah, just yeah. saying – I understand. The guy wants to go home. He lives in the United States. Does he want to go to another country, pay a lot of tax and all this shit? No. He wants to stay. He wanted to go home, but he's forced now to stay in Canada and yeah. perform. He has to perform to show that, you know what, he is a legit top two or three NBA player right now. Uh, one of yeah. the greatest players, top three let's say you got lebron james kevin durant and then you got Kawhi leonard let's see if you're back from that injury and see if you could earn that big paycheck that big fucking paycheck you could have gotten in san antonio which he didn't want to do so yeah we'll see i what think, happens. I think the crazy. question the most question is that san antonio uh won the trade over the raptors any day what's your opinion um who won I, the trade? Who I won give that trade? the I give the edge to San Antonio because of the fact that Kawhi didn't want to be there. But I also have to say Toronto was smart because they didn't feel that Demar Derozan, even though they like him, would bring them a championship or get them to where they need to be. So they didn't want to pay this guy uh, maybe thirty million, close to thirty million, uh, because to them they're. They're like, well, this guy's not even worth that. So let's try. Let's roll the dice on Kawhi Leonard. And if Kawhi Leonard doesn't work out by February, we can actually trade him away to the Celtics or, you know, some fill. You know, he could go to the 76ers yeah. and then collect some draft picks or something like that. Yeah. Um, so I think Toronto did what they did. They did something good for business, basically. Because they felt that DeRozan was not the guy who was going to bring him a championship, so might as well blow it up and 
hey, get some good draft picks out of that or get a maybe a semi superstar and some draft picks. So, you know, they didn't want to pay him $30 million, to be honest with you. So, uh, you know, I, I feel San Antonio has the edge. I feel like they got the better of the trade, but in the long run, uh, Toronto wanted out of that contract. So yeah. it was like almost dumping it, you know, and then. Hey, I got Kawhi Leonard, so now I could trade him. If we need, if we need to do it, we'll do it. You know, I don't see them uh, hanging on to Kawhi Leonard and, and trying to convince him to stay in Toronto. That's not going to happen. I really do think that he's going to be traded by February. There's no way in hell they're going to be keeping him. And if they do, they're stupid. And I doubt yeah. that they're going to do that. It's just you know uh, what pisses me off about Toronto is. They they have you. It's embarrassing to that franchise. You have coach of the year, then you go fire him. Like how do you? How what? That doesn't make sense at all. How do you have coach of the year and then you go fire him? Right. I love Dwayne Casey. Nowhere. You're right. <laughs> and I love Dwayne Casey, Jim. And I love to. He was a great coach. He's a great coach, and I'm happy where he went because I know that team where he went to will will for sure make the playoffs in the next two years. I'm not wrong. Do you, did he go to another team? Did somebody hire him or no? Yes. Which team? Because I, I think didn't Detroit, even know. Detroit it. picked him up. As a head coach, or they got rid of uh, Van Gundy? I think, they, uh, I think they got Dwayne uh, as a head coach. I wasn't paying attention too much to that, actually. Okay. But I think he, I think he is a head coach. Let me check. I Who's the head that. coach of fucking Toronto now? Who it's did that, they hire? Uh, it's the assistant coach. Are you kidding me? They don't yeah. even have. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's that's not good. Yeah, I don't. Uh, the Pistons, you said. Okay. Yeah. Someone said the Pistons. You're right. So they got rid yeah. of Van Gundy. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I yeah, don't know, man. I mean, just, I don't know. It's really upsetting. Yeah, it's uh, the head coach is Dwayne Casey for the Detroit Pistons. So not only that's only good for Detroit, but they got Blake Griffin, man. They got Blake Griffin, but again, he's on the trading block uh, up until February because I hear. Uh, there's rumors that uh, they they will trade Griffin if he doesn't work out. They will keep uh, Andre Drummond. They're not going to keep uh, Blake Griffin if he doesn't perform like he should. And so, because they could get some assets out of Blake. So, this is the time to do it. This year, that's why this year is so fucking crazy with the NBA. And look, I, I like the NFL too, but um, I think because of the whole controversy uh, with the whole... A national anthem and all this yeah, stuff. I think, I think that's. I think that that's really fucked it up. Doing. I think that's really sad what uh, what the players are doing. But that's, that's in my opinion. No, I'm Canadian, but I support America. Same thing as me. I ho- I stand up for the flag. If you don't stand up for two minutes of the national anthem, then man, you have it's to up. have something wrong with you. I don't care what the president said. I don't care what anybody says. It's your country. That flag brought you to to have freedom of speech some countries you can't even go there some countries there's war going through all this and you can't have two minutes of standing up it's like kneeling down to the national anthem now i know there's some uh people talking about okay this reason no no. just stand up for two minutes man if not just go in the locker room don't show yourself that you're not patriotic to your country you know what i mean jim and M? no i i agree with you and i think it's silly i think um and it's hurt the NFL big time. And the it, fact it that they had this and new the rule. Fans, like, you know, I'm close to Detroit as well. And there was a couple lines game my buddy went to, and they're usually sold out. Last three to four times they went, they have season tickets and uh, actually live in Windsor. They haven't sold out. It's because of the national anthem. And I think, you know, right. the NFL is big, but the NFL is going down slowly, my friend. Yeah, and they were bigger than the NBA. Now the NBA is coming up. You know, they're, they're becoming the, the guys. The NBA is bigger. And what's bigger, too, in uh, Canada and around America now is the National Hockey League. I'm a big hockey fan. So I'm hey, not how's, the sure CFL, like hockey, how's the CFL? Over, CFL, is CFL is okay. Um, there, you know, there's actually quite a few fans, actually. Um, I like, actually, Hamilton. I used to like Montreal before because that Anthony Calvillo. Anthony Calvillo should have been the NFL. He, uh, he was a really good player, good quarterback for Montreal. But I'm not, I don't watch the CFL as much as the uh, NFL. Like, I watch the Grey Cup. I'll have a couple of drinks with my family members or just sit down. But I won't watch, like, the full season. I'm not into that. I'm a Green Bay Packers fan. I'm a, I'm a diehard Packers fan. So, Because so. you guys have uh, Johnny Manziel was in there, right, this yeah, past he's season? Yeah, he's a bum. Four, was it four picks? Five really? picks? Wow. Okay. Because like, we don't get the CFL there. And all that, you know? What the right. hell? Johnny Manziel, he wrecked his career. Same with Colin Kaepernick. 
Colin Kaepernick is absolutely a phenomenal quarterback, but what he did was wrong. And right now, wait, you know, is he in the CFL? Colin Kaepernick? No, no, he's not. No, no, he's not, he's okay. nowhere right now. But I'm All just right. saying in general. Yeah, he. I don't know up. why Colin Kaepernick did that. I think he started with a national anthem, and I think if he didn't do that, he would have been on a winning championship team. I think Denver could have picked him up. The Broncos could have a good QB right now, and the Broncos right now are okay with a QB. But if Kaepernick was with Denver, they could be a really far team into the playoffs. It's, maybe a, it's crazy, I, you know, like mixing sports with politics. Just not a good co- chemistry. Not a good combination, man. Uh, yeah, well, you get arguments and all that, and I know you. It's ridiculous. This and calling me disgrace. I've been called sexist and all this. I've been called many things, but you know what? I gotta ignore the bullshit. You know, um, I'm not. I'm not sure if you like President Trump or whatever. Are you a Trump supporter? I, I'm not into politics. I really don't care. I think Trump is the same as Hillary Clinton. It doesn't matter to me. But go yeah, ahead. Yeah, and I, I, I like the. I'm just saying, I like the guy. Okay, I like what he's doing. Yeah, there's some things. Yeah, he, maybe he doesn't. He's not doing right. But I think in general, he's he's he he's he's a, pre, he's, a he's a president of the United States. You can't uh, go and call this guy uh, racist or whatever. Okay, yeah, he may have said some harsh things, but if Obama and those play, people said it, oh, it would be a big deal. But when Trump says it, the whole world goes up and it blows up you know what i mean jimmy Nam? no you're right you know like I'm, I'm not a republican or staunch democrat or anything like but yeah i mean he's a he's the president whether it's trump or not it is what it is gotta support him i mean he's our you gotta, leader you, you got, for the country American people vote for him so you gotta, you gotta support him somehow you know to call no, him his and all this you know okay no, yeah I, I understand he did this and this but you know what there's people, look at what Bill Clinton did, you know, I'm, I'm not going to get into politics, but you know, sometimes I get into it a little bit and, you know, some people tell me to go th- this way and this way. I don't really care, man. I'm just, I'm proud wh- who I stand for. I'm proud I'm a sports commentator and I love talking sports. Uh, sports is a great thing uh, to be active in sports, talking about sports, watching sports. And that's what I love. Why I, I was born to be a sports commentator and born to play football. Yeah. Um, so you're into hockey, so who's your favorite team? I'm actually a Leafs fan. A Lynx fan? Leafs, Leafs. Oh, Leafs fan. Okay. Actually, I have a cousin who uh, he's playing. He actually is my, he'd be my second cousin. He, uh, his name's Nazan Kadri. Yes. And uh, he's my second cousin, so I go watch the Leafs game sometimes. He plays in the National Hockey League. Okay. Yeah, I'm like I'm not huge into hockey. I used to be when Wayne Gretzky played for the Kings and stuff like yeah. that. And I, I know he comes from Canada, but uh, to me, like it's like Wayne Gretzky of the Kings. Yeah, that's that's amazing. You know, uh, that's a huge thing for me because uh, I, I grew up a big LA fan. I, I'm I'm with the Raiders. I'm with the Kings. I'm with the Lakers, and then that's nice. what I grew up on as far Are as you my from teams. LA? You born in LA? Do you live there? Yeah, I was born in. Uh, Kentucky though, but I I, uh, I quickly moved when I was three months old to the Bay Area, quickly down to LA County. So everything is about LA, man. So I yeah. bleed purple and gold, Lakers. I bleed silver and black with the the Raiders. No matter where they're at, dude, the Raiders are my team. I know a lot. I get a lot of shit for that. But and then on top of that, I love the Kings, dude. I will not get with the Ducks. I hate the Ducks. I hate the uh, fucking Angels. You know how it is, right? When you got yeah, your I know team, exactly. it doesn't it's matter. Like saying, uh, yeah. you know, it's like saying it's like saying uh, Buffalo and Detroit. Like, let's get into football quickly. Uh, the the uh, Lions and Buffalo. They're about what a couple hours away from each other. It's like, yeah. So yeah, you like this team because of they're better, and a lot of people hate Anaheim, and you're close to Anaheim, but. Um, the real team is LA Kings. LA is bigger. They have they had Gretzky and they had more more history in the last in LA, the Kings, you know? Yeah. So, so that's just me. I'm hardcore about that. I would never love the Rams. The fact that the Rams came back after twenty years of us not having an NFL team in LA, I didn't give a shit. I was like, fuck that. I want the Raiders back, bro. But they're going to I think to it was Las embarrassing Vegas. they brought them back because if you see this if you see the fans now in that stadium, man, it doesn't look too it's horrible. You don't and, see and it. the Chargers. It's like, too. it's like going to do a, a crappy baseball game. It's like going watching, uh, I don't know who's the crappiest team right now, Cincinnati Reds, if you want to say. You know? It, it, you look at the Cincinnati Reds for a second, you say, man, there's not many two fans because they're not doing well. Well, this is NFL, my friend, and the Rams, the stadium's not even sold out. What the hell? It's really yeah, everybody bad. Everybody must stand for, for everybody must stand because this asshole said so. I saw a picture of Trump at a fucking football game. He wasn't standing until Secret Service told him to. 
Oh what yeah, mean? man. What? Oh, yeah, they saw they showed his whole family standing. He fucking sitting down. The Secret Service tapped him. He's when was fat. this? When was this? It was a while ago, man. But he was in the office at the time, and I'm like, wow, what a fucking hypocrite. He wants everybody to stand, but the fucking douchebag. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, 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 Kenny TV in the house, you know, I still, uh, I still stand up for the night. I don't care. Oh, now he's going to stand. Fucking hypocrite. Why do you hate yeah. Trump so I mean, I, look, I don't care about Trump. I think sometimes he's so immature. He's for himself. He only does things that he wants right, to do because well, he's a narcissist. That's well, fine. Yeah. I mean, it, probably. Isn't that everybody? <laughs> money, talks, money talks, my friend, Kenny TV in the house. Money talks. If you have I mean, that money, you don't care. No one's perfect. Well, you know? if tomorrow they talk about Trump like that, but if Obama did it, or if uh, uh, Hillary did it, or if uh, Bill Clinton did it, or if Ronald Reagan did it, it wouldn't be a too big problem. But if Trump did it, all oh, the whole world is corrupted and everybody's going nuts. Like, come on, the guy's a human being. Okay, I understand he did some mistakes, but you, you American people voted for him. And oh. to bash a president like that so much, I I'm vote. very, I'm very unfortunate to say that because like, I don't like putting anybody down. I like, I'm a big fan of Trump. Okay, that's my opinion and everything. But if you don't like Trump, I respect your opinion. I don't. I'm not gonna go and bash you because you don't like the guy. It's your opinion. It's what you want to hear, and it's what, what you American people want to hear. Hey, I'm with Alex Jones. He said F him because he told all his followers, "I'm not gonna go to war with Syria." I think he's going to war with Syria. I don't think that's all. I think that's all fake news. Okay. The news you want to hear that you know we don't actually see the real truth you know they probably already had president trump already going into office it's like a little game okay it's a cat and, cat and mouse game okay it goes round and round and round and round and it doesn't stop so that's my opinion okay oh he's the guy that said i'll take care of the infrastructure <laughs> look at you look at okay look I'll at look at the, uh, i'll take care the of the and then he said you know what you're the, the states each state can take care of it. Yeah, like every state can afford the part of the infrastructure that's screwed up in their state. No. But, you know, he says stuff that he's going to do, then he doesn't do it whatsoever. Yeah, he's not well, going he, to. You know, he, he, look at the jobs in Michigan. Okay, look at, the, look at the economy, actually. Just look at the economy. He proved that he wants the economy up, and it's going up crazy. And I, hey, buddy, I'm come from Canada. Okay, I'm probably the biggest supporter in Canada. Everybody hate, everybody hates Trump in my family, but I'm the only guy who supports them. That the the economy in in America is going up so crazy that we can't even catch to you guys. Our economy is okay, but we can't even catch to you guys because you guys are doing so well. And the Republicans, the wealthy people out there, they're doing so well out there. I'm not sure about the middle aged class people and all those people, but the well uh, the the uh, everything's going well in the states. That's what I am um, listening to and watching. So. Oh, yeah. Did you hear that story about the guy that followed him for 40 rallies? And then he told, oh, yeah, addiction is going to be my first top priority. Yeah, he learned who he really is. I was going to ask you, Jim and M, do you like uh, the uh, he got Los the Angeles train, Angels? Man, because he knew, oh, I know what he really is. He made me promise that he didn't keep shit. At least that guy learned the lesson. <laughs> Yeah, so at the end of the day, you know. Those that are really smart see his true colors. Those that drink that? Kool-Aid don't. The real smart ones that supported him, they see his true colors. Ones that want to keep on drinking the Kool-Aid and be dumb, don't. Let's get back to sports for a sec. Jim and M? Yeah, what's up, man? I had a question to ask you, actually. Who's your baseball team in L.A.? Because you guys are kind of quite a couple Dodgers. of teams in L.A. Dodgers. Dodgers, yeah, Dodgers are a good team. Pisses yeah, me yeah. off when you guys went to the World Series. Dodgers are even has lost. Oh, whatever, oh, dude. Dodgers are six hundred. Dude, that's my dude. That's my team, though. I grew like you like the Yankees, Kenny. I like the Dodgers. I grew up on them. No, I, wait, I hate uh, the Angels. Nationally Fuck is, the Angels. Is is at six hundred. Okay, so who cares? I still support them. I'm not gonna fucking turn my back on them. They're my team, dude. I'm not going to fucking join the Angels. Vision, we'd be in first place. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. 
I'm just telling you, I like the Do- my teams are the Dodgers, the Kings, the Los Angeles Lakers for sure. And then I, I like, uh, oh, who's my hockey team? Uh, I already said the hockey team, Kings, Raiders. That's it. Those are my four. That's what I grew up on, man. Those are you my said, teams. You were talking about Gretzky before, right? It does. Yeah, Gretzky. But I don't go around and, and, and do a bandwagon thing. I don't go be a LeBron. There's a lot of LeBron James fans. Wherever he goes, I'm going to go. You know, yeah, yeah. I'm not like that. I hate the Miami Heat. I hate the fucking Cleveland Cavaliers. I hate the Celtics for sure. God damn it. I hate all those teams. Then would, then would Bron sign with the Lakers? And I hate the Clippers. You didn't already sign with the Lakers. You, signed, you, signed, you know, he could have got a little bit more. If you want someone well, I guess you'll be a LeBron fan now. He's on your team. That's I fine. Think, uh, I think you will go back to Cleveland for one more year. As, as long as he's on my team, I'm okay. I will support him. Hey, man, I love it. I love LeBron now. Like he got, he he got okay. He got four years, 154 million dollars. Okay, I think he could have got a, a little bit more. I think he could have oh, got wow. maybe oh, close wow. to 165 with another team. Um, but moving from the east to the west is a very hard thing to do because you got to win more than 60 games, and it's hard because the west, they got some good teams like Memphis. You know, people are saying Memphis is going to be good this year. That's rumors going on. Hey, we don't know what teams are. Denver Nuggets, they might make the playoffs this year, okay? The Trails Blazers, we can go around all the circle, but we have to watch. Action speaks louder than words. I'm saying if Gretzky became a Ranger instead of a King, he would have had another championship. <laughs> well, I mean, he uh, went two or three because Graves and Messier were on there, and they're all Oilers. But again, with LeBron James, I mean, it's not about money. I mean, twenty, uh, yeah, twenty million to anybody else. A difference between twenty, twenty-five million, whatever it would be. Uh, is not a whole lot to him. He thinks, well, I could go to LA. I could get a ton of business there. Uh, he own, He's like a stock owner in Blaze Pizza, which is pretty hot in Southern California here. I mean, everywhere you go, there's Blaze Pizza. I mean, so the fact that he's got stock and investments in, in these companies, these local companies, it's going to do him much better. And he's going to gain more than that $25 million that he lost on, on the basketball uh, court. And then with endorsements and all these entertainment stuff, he's in the right spot. So, you know, like he's not really thinking about, oh, you know, the NBA, I'm not going to get 20 million. He's thinking, I'm going to make 100 million because of this business deal that I'm doing over here in LA. So it, it's much different. Uh, so, uh, do I respect LeBron James yet? No, probably not. As a Lakers fan, no, I don't because I respect Kobe Bryant. I respect Shaquille O'Neal, Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, uh, Wilt Chamberlain, Jerry West, all these other legends that came before him. He's got to win some championships before he, he gains the actual fans' respect, the true fans' respect. Well, what pisses uh, me off, too, they're saying LeBron James is going to be better than Kobe Bryant. No, that's I, I doubt that will happen because I don't think he has enough time to do that. Kobe's a legend, dude. Kobe's I, like one I, of the, I think, I think, the greatest. I think Kobe was a better player than LeBron. That's my opinion. I, I, say, I saw before I stopped playing basketball. I saw LeBron play a little bit. Stephen A. Smith said he's going to be next Jordan. I'm like, as if there is no next Jordan. What the I mean, fuck? I I feel that. LeBron James is a great player and he will be, you know, very close to Michael Jordan or if better. I don't know how his uh, next four years are going to pan out, but uh, he, he's up there. Now, Kobe Bryant is a different story, but he's a legend with the Lakers. So it's a different story, like compared to the NBA and like if you uh, like Kobe and the NBA or Michael Jordan comparisons are all done. It's really LeBron James versus Michael Jordan now, and there's no one really else in the uh, – maybe Kevin Durant, uh, but we don't know how he's going to turn out. So Kobe Bryant, though, he's – Kobe's a legendary. Kobe is the king. A Laker legend. touch Kobe in L.A. Yeah, in L.A. you can't touch Kobe. How many championships have LeBron James won so far? How many what? Championships have he won so far? What, he won three or something? No, he won – Three or four? Jordan won like I don't seven, really follow man. LeBron James. He did well in Miami. That's what I'm happy about. I think he won. Jordan won like seven, right? I think he won three in Miami and one in Cleveland, so four, or he won two in Miami. I don't know. No, two. 
And everybody, can you please donate to JimRenam.com? We want to make That's him more great. humble, please. <laughs> I appreciate and that. How many? And Jordan won seven, right? I think he's three out of six or something like that. I'm not sure. What's I don't really these follow these fans that don't like me on here today? I think because you come from, uh, you know. Canada. The, uh, no. LeBron James retires. Like, coming. I think they've heard enough. I think they heard of you through other people. That maybe misrepresented who you actually are. I don't know. Maybe it could be. Uh, maybe I'm troll being trolled right now. It doesn't matter. Whatever. But I, you know, I don't care. I can say five, I not six. I don't care. But I'm I'm happy to be on Jim and M show. It's absolutely phenomenal. You can call me Tailball you want. At the end of the My day, I'm Jim and M show. And you know what? I think I think we spoke each other's language. Uh, you know, I'm I'm not fucking uh, fucking around with the NBA shit or, or sports stuff. No, no, I, 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 I know you. my I shit. You, seriously, and people, you know, <laughs> I hear people talk about how terrible you are. You know, finally I can talk to you, and you're finally a normal person out there like everybody else. I appreciate that, man. That means you're a lot. I'm, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna start sharing your stuff too. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on Twitter. I'm gonna add you on my Twitter. My YouTube and all that, I just did that right now. I'm going to share. I'm going to get on and watch you more often because I know you are a true patriotic and you're doing very well on your show and you keep up that great work, man. Thanks, bro. I appreciate that. Thanks, Joe. No problem. All right. Peace. Yeah. Peace and love. Peace and love. All right, Ken. Well, there you go, man. I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, just chilling out on a Friday night. You having a good Friday? You smoking oh, yeah. the weed still? Or are you uh, oh, having quit? CBD. I'm not smoking the weed. Your, your CBD, isn't that the same thing basically? No, it doesn't. It doesn't have any THC in it, so it won't show up on drug tests. Okay. All right. So we got Sans Wrath the Jethucker. I love. I would love to talk to Sans because I think. Um, well, number one, I'd probably make him look like a complete retard, like he is. Uh, <laughs> Uh, look, I'm not even afraid of anything for some reason. I just not anymore. Yeah. I never was actually, but uh, you know, people wake me up a little bit here. They poke and prod. They think they got the best of me. Honestly, I'm still here. I'm actually doing way better than I was a month ago. So yeah. Okay, so LeBron James won three championships. Of course, I know Jordan won six, uh, but so and then Kobe Kobe become, won five. Okay, Kobe won, won five. five. That's my prediction. Then he'll retire. Shaquille O'Neal won four. I get it, uh, dude. How about Robert Ory? No one talks about Robert Ory. Yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> Robert Ory won like seven. I mean, oh, and Toledo, <laughs> that's a lot. And he's a role player, basically. How many were Robert Ory won seven championships? I mean, the Jerry West one. He won with the Rockets. He won with the fucking Los Angeles Lakers. He won three. He won with two with the San Antonio Spurs. Come on, man. Maybe okay, Robert so Ory is the goat. Robert Ory is the goat, man. Oh no, I think the goat is Chamberlain. That's my goat. Chamberlain. He's my favorite. Winner. Chamberlain was the yeah. shit. Hey, so who would you find more attractive, Kitty or or her uh, skinny girlfriend? Kitty. E. Kitty has curves. Sorry, I like curves. E. Well, I guess uh, that's it. Uh, no one wants... Oh, I didn't put the uh, thing up. Hold on one second. All right, guys, if you want to call in, there's a number right there, right on your screen. And I welcome all trolls because I am the king. <laughs> I am the king of all. Uh... Trolls? Yes, there you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. When I'm able to get the phone into the system, I'm not going to bring as trolls to come in out here. I'm not the. I, don't I always them. bring trolls in because it doesn't matter. I mean, whenever they're on <laughs> this show, for some reason, they fail. Like that Cosmic Cam, the guy who sounds like a raspy old aunt that smoked cigarettes for 46 yeah. years. Yeah, that guy, he failed I, completely. Well, he like he was, just got out of his third bathhouse. He, he was so oh. embarrassed. He had to go on scenes the other night and go, oh, my 
God. Jeremy and Amazon want to talk to me. Well, dude, the phone lines are open. Discord's wide open. It's all good. Joe Booney came in here. Let me tell you something. Joe Booney came in here. There was no problem. Right. Maybe that guy came off Rock Hudson's nutsack. Come on. You know, like, I'm here. I'm queer. Oh, let's go, baby. Sans, uh, Rath. Hi there, Sans. I know this. What's going on, Timoth? All right, so why don't you talk to me like a regular guy? Talk to me like a regular guy. What does it matter, Timoth? Don't you enjoy talking to Kyle and smashing me? Oh, Kyle. 40 years old and 400 beers. Fucking you, fuck me, Dad. You want to hear a hilarious joke? Uh, yes. There, James, about Kyle. He's Whoa. giving YouTube advice to people on how to run their channels. He oh. says that, hey, people uh, who want to do sports shows, you should do reaction videos to live, like to the game. Oh my YouTube God, he's brilliant. Thing. How do you come up with that idea? That's so brilliant. I, I've never I, seen must that. The, it must be from the idea when I was reacting, you know, to the channel. And I had like 3,000 subs. But don't you have 3,000 subs today? But anyway, what, when yeah. I had 3,000 subs and uh, 3 million views, oh I God. decided to stream reaction to the Academy Awards. Oh, my God. And, and the Super Bowl. Remember the Super Bowl? The Super Bowl live stream that 1,000 people were in? Yeah, but that got me uh, banned from, uh, from YouTube for being oh. a, a spammer. That's horrible. I mean, why would that happen? Oh, now, no, you, no, it's copyright. You can't show football games. It's, it's amazing that I sit there in my uh, basement with no tiles and the floor that I pissed on. Ew. To my, uh, oh, God, because I am just that wide and I'm a tiny man. Have you ever noticed? Yeah, you're four I'm foot eleven. Why do you piss on the floor, Jesus? No, he's in four- my hand. A typical cigarette's only like four, three and a half inches long. My palm and my fingers. So I got like a tiny hand. I could never pump basketball, and uh, I love the I love the Patriots. Dude, he does. <laughs> Why do you love, love the, the Patriots? Patriots. Patriots hey, stupid! Because, because, because I'm Trump from Rhode support. Island, stupid. That's New England, stupid. Oh my God, Kyle Swinless. Yeah, really That's Tom Brady thinks he can play to forty-five. Yeah, hey, Kyle, Kyle, how come you keep losing? Lose by now? <laughs> hey, Kyle, how come? How, how come Kyle I, keeps I, lo- losing I'm subscribers? Me about not taking care of my loved one. Oh, you, know, you got four I'm of over them. There and I, I, I sit at home all day on YouTube listening to Jim and Sam, and I, I go and oh. I invented that. I want you to know, I'm the first one to stream Jim and Sam. I'm an oh. I'm an innovator on YouTube. Hey Kyle, how come you only have thirteen hundred subscribers now? I thought you had like two thousand something. Subs, have- subs on that channel after my other one refused to get. Because YouTube isn't monetizing any other YouTube channels. I wonder why. If they monetize me, I know they're not monetizing anybody else. It's not because I have crappy content <laughs> and I'm stealing other people's streams. It's because no, YouTube be. just doesn't under... It's never going to monetize anybody anywhere else. Anyway, no. I decided to make the second channel and I decided to buy a thousand subs. I was following your footsteps. You're following but my... I did it wrong. That's weird because I have four channels that are uh, monetized, but um, yeah, it's weird that YouTube's not monetizing, but Would yet I have one? four channels. Hey, come on. Do, what, okay. do, a, do a brother a solid and get, can you sell me one of your channels? You're not using them all. All right. Well, how much did you pay for that 1,000 subs? Maybe maybe we can work a deal out for you. <laughs> 20 bucks. I went to this place online. And I guess somebody from India, Pakistan, you know where the places I say I'm going to nuke in Holocaust. Oh because my I God, like Kyle. brown people that aren't black like me. Kyle, I mean, what is ha- I thought you had a, like every time you do a live stream, you're supposed to have a thousand views. What happened? Now you're at 281. The, the, the stream you just did two hours ago, you had 281 now. What's going on, bro? Like, how come the. the what happened? I'm doing the, it for free now because I'm not monetized. And uh, oh. I don't have my, uh, my, my, my Donald Trump. He hasn't come to me this month. Darnell and, uh, Trump. You know, oh, okay. Yeah, Darnell Trump is like my piece of scum. Scum. <clears throat> I have Darnell Trump, but I think it's really just me 
Because Damn. how many Darnells do you know that aren't black? I think I would just donate it to myself to save faith. Oh my God. Are you going to hold everybody hostage again? That $400 a month and, that way. and you're going to quit? I'm very clever. I can fool the people at will because I'm just a clever guy. And uh, I think I'm a genius, but I only scored 55 on my ads fab, which Ew. is like basically scoring 55 at a scale of 1 to 100. I basically got a B. Wow, Kyle, this is really such an honor to hear you. I mean, what's up with you and like live streaming the Jim and Sam show? And and that's barely getting barely five hundred views. Can't pay for my subscription oh. to, uh, to 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 open to anything anymore. I had to switch. You know, like you're doing the NBA stuff. I had to switch screens and start reacting to Jim and Sam. I mean, are you jerking off while you're listening to Jim and Sam? I mean, what are you doing, dude? You're, you're... I, 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 I will not confirm or deny any jerking off. I did bring up the other day an issue of cum rags. And if I no. only, I, I mean, you have to know about cum rags. You know, use them. I know your wife. To talk yeah. about them. I've never, so I, I'm, I'm not confirming or denying that I maybe spend time to the end of that when my, wife, my wife's away with a three job. Yeah, and that, I, mean, uh, I met your wife. Not be, uh, yeah. I got kids. Like I can't. I can't. I can't confirm it's not. Yeah, I know you talk. You, you call your kids retarded and all, but um, it. it I, I guess that's okay. I don't know. I mean, I know they're autistic, I'm and you say they're that area. Retards. I'm just here to mostly make fun of the way this man talks and thinks. I might bring in kids into it, Jim. So. <laughs> Look, Kyle. I'm sorry. I got three. I'm almost at three thousand subs now, and uh, uh and, and forty thousand views a day, right? I mean, that's crazy. I mean, right now I have 61,000 views in the last 48 hours, but hey, I mean, who's counting? Uh, no one's here counting numbers. Uh, no one does that uh, except I, yourself, I, Kyle. But uh, what do you recommend? I mean, like you, are you going to do like a, a USC channel or just a separate NFL uh, channel or MLB channel? Yes, I'm going to whore myself out to the UFC and also uh, uh, C the CFL uh, as I talk to Joe Booney, who's here right now. Um, I, yeah, I am going to whore myself out to all those sports uh, channel because uh, men don't watch sports for some reason. Uh, they listen to Opie and Anthony all day. I was like, uh, my, my CPT is only like, uh, like I get like maybe a thousand, I get a thousand dollars a million views. You're telling oh me that maybe if you're doing stuff like the NBA, you get a higher CPT and for like a, a million views, you might get like five thousand dollars. Kyle, what kind of microphone do you have? It, it really, it's horrible. It's always hard. I'm in my basement. I, I'm, I, I, I'm, just, I'm, a, I'm a get, I'm a ghetto person. I'm, I'm talking I'm to a, the a, mic, man. And that's how I do stuff. It's I mean, rigging. as long as it's gold, you know. I mean, the fact that it's gold, I guess that's okay. I mean, the color is gold, at least. It, I don't know. I, I, it might turn into green if you put it close to it. Anyway, uh, I'm done. Uh, you know, smashing you. For night and uh, uh, I hope you have a successful stream tomorrow. Well, thanks, Kyle, for calling in. Uh, I'm sorry you have to go back to your wife or whatever that is, the cow that's up there. Uh, good oh. luck and uh, give her a good fucking for me. So, okay, that's not you, Sam. What yeah. The mic's all messed up. Yeah, that mic is pretty bad. I mean, but it is Saiyan's Entertainment. I mean, what else do you expect? <laughs> I'm not a what big fan of uh, Saiyan's Entertainment, actually. You're not, not a big fan. Oh, this... yeah, he's dissed me about my religion. He's dissed me about a lot of things. I'm not a really big fan of him, but... What's your religion, by the way? I don't even know. I mean, I don't know a whole lot about you. I'm actually Arab. Arab. Oh, okay. So... Man, I'm so out of it. I, I don't know. All I heard was your name and uh, coming up with people that uh, were trolling me, but... Uh... You know yeah, what? Let me tell you something, man. A um, lot of people actually, I heard, it, I heard it before too. That I'm faking all that. They call me fake news and all this. And this, one guy made this Facebook up and he started putting the Iron Cheek up there and all this. And it was terrible. And I, uh, I tried oh, to ban them and it, it didn't really go through. Um, but uh, you know, you can call me fake news all you want, but I'm not fake news. I'm, I'm all facts. I don't read off the computer. When I go live, it's all in my brain. I put it to skill. I learn it. I practice over and over again, and it's in my head, and I'm ready for my show. And Jim and Ed, they like the same thing. I respect you very much. And the moment somebody just 
respects you, they're going to get my size 15 boot and it's going to go up the radishing candy ass. Remember that the oh radishing ass, because that's how much respect that for you, Jimmy. You're like a brother to me, man. And you're doing well. Wow. That's really cool. Um, you know, yeah. the first amendment is freedom of the press, right? You know, everything, every video that I do, I don't even read the article. I just go on and, and, and just talk. And uh, like I could do it right now if you want me to. Uh, Chris Ball, looking forward to playing with a friend in Carmelo Anthony. Here we go. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. All right. I'll show you exactly what I do. This is how I create YouTube videos. This is something that I don't show people, but I'm going to show you right now. And I'm going to have music and everything, and you'll see exactly what I'm doing. Um, hold on one second. I got to go on YouTube. I'll mute it. Watch this. What? <laughs> what did you say? You got to watch this. All right, hold on one second. Uh, this is exactly how you do a YouTube video. Uh, where's my music, motherfucker? Hey, fuck's my music? Dude? I would love, to, I would love for you to come to my show as well one time too, if you ever could. My sh you, what? What was that again? I'm sorry. I would love for you to come to my show one day if you could. Show? Oh, oh you have a, sh a live show? Yeah, I go live every, every Saturday. That's what I said. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get take a phone call before I do this. Go ahead. Ramon, why don't you cry again, you little bitch? <laughs> cool. Oh, that's all you have to say. Oh, come on, dude. You could do better than that, dude. Come on, dude. Waste some time. Like, why, why would you I hang up, dude? Set. Why can't we have a conversation ever? That sucks. No. God damn, that sucks. God damn. No, 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 what I was saying is I go live every, uh, every week on Saturdays. You go live what? Every every Saturday night at 10.15. All right. Let me nice. let me show you how I do my YouTube channels or my videos. Here we go. I, I, I love just the Iron Sheik. So good. The Iron Sheik. All right. Someone said Arab is not a religion, by the way, but. Well, I'm not going to get into the religion. I'm not going to exactly get into it. But, All right. Uh, I just lost connection with my thing, but hold on one second. Let's see if I can pull that back up. Jesus Christ, man. What kind of computer do you have? Mind asking if you could. I have a Mac. Nice. I'm a dude, loser. I, love, I love Macs. I'm going to get one, actually. I have, mine, I have one, too, but it's breaking down. It's like my dad's car. They have probably 20 years. <laughs> uh, honestly, I wish I could get a uh, PC, but hey, we're not going to get there. Uh, but right. whatever. If I would, if I had the money right now, Jim and I, I would get you, I would get you a MacBook. Oh right man, here. thank you, man. You're a Muslim. Someone said you're a Muslim. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much what he said. I think. Uh, Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints. Hold on, let me see. I'm trying to get my music. I'm uh, of a different religion. I'm, I believe in theism. As in my musical artists are God like. Where's my fucking music? God damn it! I'm trying to do something and nothing's happening. At least I would go up against other religions. I think I'm the only person that belongs to mine. Every at the end of the day, we die the same, we come out the same, and we go down the same. That's what she said. That's true. All right, hold on one second. Let me uh, try to get my music back on here. I don't know why it's not fucking working. All right, you guys. Oh, there we go. You guys hear that? I'm assuming you guys hear the music there. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah. All right, here we go. I hear that. Let me get a better song. What is, what is this shit? <laughs> no, I want a better song. Come on, dude. Don't fuck with me. That's how I do it. And I had some wine, so I'm not on my game. All right, here we go. God damn it. Where the fuck is the music, you piece of shit? I'm glad I'll come to the beginning of the show. I had the elevator music dancing in my Don't head. worry, last week I was trying to put the music on my show and it would not work. After half an hour, it finally worked because the Bluetooth wasn't connected and I was so stupid I should have figured that right away. Don't you, Jimmy, your elevator intro music used to dance my head every day, all day. <laughs> God damn, I need my music. You know what? Fuck this music. Uh, I don't really know why it's not in here. Like, Fuck, there's the elevator music. Shit. All right, you guys hear that music? Yeah. All right, here we go. Hey now, Jim or Nam. Okay, hold on one second. Hey now, what up, everybody? My name is Jim or Nam, the latest in the NBA. Chris Paul looking forward to playing with a friend in Carmelo Anthony. Why? 
Why would you even give a fuck about Carmelo? He sucks. It's revenge season for the Houston Rockets after coming so close to their first NBA Finals appearance since 1995. The Rockets fell short to the eventual championship Golden State Warriors in seven games in the Western Conference Finals. I think the Houston Rockets should have uh, beat them, actually. It ended as a season of what-ifs as superstar point guard CP3 Paul, Chris Paul went down at the end of the game five with a hamstring injury that ruled him out the next two games. It was huge factor in Rockets' subsequent collapse. Paul was destroying the Warriors before he suffered his injury, and if the Rockets had him on the floor in the last two games, we could be talking about a different NBA champion right now. The Warriors might have been fucking, I don't know, replaced by the Houston Rockets. Now they got Melo. So they got Harden, they got CP3, they got Capella back, and now they added Melo. Yeah, they lost Trevor Ariza, but who gives a shit, right? Be that as it may, the Rockets have aimed to get better, so that's what I do. That's it. When I'm sober, that's what I do. <laughs> everyone, please follow, follow Jim and M on YouTube. There we go. Donate Thank you very much. You can donate $50 to $100 American. 100, we want Jim and M to get greater and better than ever before. There that's we go. That's what we love about Jim and M, and he's going to keep the country on top. He's running for 46th president. That's what we need from you. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, but still. Uh, you know what? I invite the trolls. I wish they would keep calling in. Um, they have a lot to say, maybe. They don't. I don't know. I mean, I, I just want to get rid of them. So just keep coming in, and we can talk. I just followed it's, you on Twitter, oh, brother. Boys? All right. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it. No problem. I mean, come on, dude. I mean, I, I'm not that scary. As much as those fans are dissing me on all that on uh, on YouTube, I don't hate you back. Two wrongs don't make a right. So you can say whatever you want, you people out there, because at the end of the day, um, I am uh, I am proven fact that I'm not fake news. All right, uh, let's go, buddy. Yo, this motherfucking Jimmy. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, I heard you slap my motherfucking cousin, boy. Who the fuck you think you're playing with, homie? I'm sorry. You, you, you really sorry, motherfucker? Yeah, what's her name again? Man, my name is motherfucking none of your goddamn business. No, I was asking about your cousin. Oh, the one that you fucked up? You don't even remember her name? You gonna break that motherfucker? No. Hey, Travis, how you doing? I'm doing all right. How about you? Hey, Travis, have you met my new friend, We King Thatch? You better believe I can't understand a word you just said. So, what's up? What do you want? I don't know. You said I have your trolls call in, and you're saying I'm a supreme troll, so I thought I'd call in. All right. So, good good to oh, hear from you, I guess. I don't know. I guess you're a valuable troll in me. I like you still, Jim. I don't know why you went off on me the other day. Yeah, it's all good, man. Well, I mean, is it? you don't got to play team Dude, what do you me. care? Are, aren't you in Kenny TV world anyhow? Uh, well, yeah, what do you that's give a shit? nothing to do with our relationship. Dude, I don't have a relationship with you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Go. What are you fucking gay right, now? I will put you on I'll, I'll post all the pictures, man. All right, go post every picture you Come want. Come on, respect him and him. You know, two wrongs don't make a right. Okay, he, he said what he said. You know, forgive him. Like, come on, guy. Come I on, forgive respect him. I, him. He's a good I, guy. I, all right, so I forgive you. I don't know what you want from me. I mean, what? You want to keep talking to me? I just want to be me? your friend, Jim and Nam. All right, let's be friends, I guess. I don't know what the fuck you want. I like you. Why don't you want to be like my mentor? That's how I look at you as. <laughs> I look at you mentor. as like a father figure I never had. Uh, okay, well, you got a daddy. Don't worry about that, bro. Come on. I'm not. Jim, I Kyle love you. Kyle is a good daddy. He knows everything about everything. <laughs> well, you're, you're, you're the daddy in this, this scenario. You're the sugar daddy. I know I am. I'm the shit, but I, hey, I can't I'm be everyone's audience. dad. All right, Trav, what do you want, bro? I just want to—I I, want to make sure we're good. That we're leaving. Uh, we're not leaving, but that I can call in and, and you know that everything's good and that you know I appreciate Dude, I you care, and I appreciate man. the work you've See, done. And I—I okay. uh, I don't know. I just still want to not be you know not not the old format. But I still want to be able to say hi to you and, and watch your streams and stuff and comment. What do you care? I mean, you're you're in tra you're in uh, Kenny's world. Kenny, is he in your world still? Is he yeah. in your? Uh... Yeah. So oh, what do you care? Aren't you playing well, a big wanna, role uh, over there? But you're not in there, Jim. How can I be friends with you if you're not in there? Dude, 
I left it that way so that people can, those who want to, Matthew Weaver or whoever, Kitty or whatever, uh, they have a platform. Now they, you got a platform. So what do you want from me, dude? I, I just, you want to talk just, about again, basketball? I just want your friendship. That's all I really want. All right. So you're, you, all right. I, I'm not your friend, bro. I, I'm a guy well, who, who does I YouTube. I thought, I thought I put in the work. I put in the time. Why, why, why am I friend zone <laughs> or not friend zone? Have you met each other before? Is that uh, best friends? No. You yeah. Haven't. Uh, this guy, we go back to inbox days. The what? No, sandbox I haven't days, met him. Like we were playing in a sandbox together. Are you okay, buddy? Okay. I, See, guess so. I was like three. He was like twenty, but we were playing together. Is this is, is your name I'm Travis? Just, that's, no, that's, that's just a joke. That's just that's that's is my heart. Is this Travis? And hey, why don't you talk to Joe Booney? Yeah. Hey, yo, what's up, Joe Booney? I just want to tell you, you need we have to we have to show lots of respect for Jim and M. Come on, we want as much as patriotic and a lot of respect for this guy. This guy's doing very well, so we don't want You're to diss him. Hey, I don't need the respect, but hey, I appreciate that. But still, man, I'm I'm he just saying, dude. Respect, I'm, that's for sure. Hey, Travis, I'm a regular dude. I root for you. I've always rooted for you, bro. I want you to have a good life, and I hope everything works out. I don't know what else you want from me, dude. Well, that that was a very that was very sincere, and I appreciate that. Actually, that meant a lot to me, right there. Thank you, Chairman. Okay. So I'm not against you. I'm not for you. I, I'm just hey, I want. I wish. I I hope everything works out for you. I don't know what your uh, situation is with the courts and all that shit. I don't know. That's where it was kind of last left. But, hey, man, I, I wish you the best. That's it, man, in life. You only got one life to live, bro. You got to live it up, bro. And uh, All right. But you're so cool with me calling in like this once in a while. Just once in a oh while. Oh, God. Saying hi. <laughs> all right. All right. I got the okay. That's all I needed. All right. Thank you. Love you, Jimmy Nam. Kenny, go suck a cop. Peace and love. Peace and love. Jimmer, I wanted to tell you something. Have you ever watched uh, Don's show? Uh, honestly, no, I have not. No, well, there's this That's guy who's really good. He's on YouTube, and I went, I went on a show last week, and he's really good with his YouTube uh, channel. Uh, he talks a lot of bit of, uh, little bit of politics, and uh, he, sometimes there and yes, and he's doing really well. So if you have time, check, up, check out his YouTube channel if you have time or if you want to. Wait, okay. who's whose YouTube channel? Don. Don. I'll send you. I'll sell. You, I'll send you the link if you don't have it. I thought you knew Don. Hey. No, I mean I know him. I mean he's called in. And yeah, we have interaction, but and he wanted me to come on tonight for some reason, but I, I didn't want. I was not interested in it. I don't know if he did, is he doing a show tonight. I he was supposed know. to do a show, but his uh, the connect the internet cords weren't working, and today there was a landscaper at his house, and the landscaper did something to the wire, so he couldn't go live. It was cutting out every two minutes, so. Yeah, I don't even know what's going on with that. Uh, all these uh, uh, things. I may not look. <laughs> We're having it here too in Canada. Like I don't know who. Matthew Stearns is where he's at now. Is he not part of Gonzo anymore? Is did he get the shaft? Uh, Saiyan's Entertainment is a, is a dope. That that's what I know. Uh, Tara is a nobody unless I make her or somebody. That's true. Uh, did you hear that, Tara? You're a nobody that no one cares about. There's so many other chicks that are way hotter than you that go on Gam. Uh, so. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, man. I made you somebody, but you're nobody now. Unless I talk about you, which I'm talking about you right now. So, you know, that gives you some. And then uh, I, I don't know all these characters. I, I mean, can you fill me in here? I mean, what am I missing, Joe Booney? Zane, I, I don't really care. I mean, I mean, I, I think, I guess he's a nice guy. I don't know a lot about him except the conversations we had on air. That's about it. That's all I know about Don A. Oh, he's a nice guy. He's very respectful to his country. You know, he's from Buffalo and uh, talking a little football and all this. And he's so. He's, who he's are the other guy. guys he, then? Who, who who are these unbleached character and the and then Saiyans? I mean, um, what, what, all the Saiyans what have their own show. They talk about whatever they want to talk about. Unbleaches. He's another guy who actually uh, he watches you. Uh, he plays you in the show. And actually, he plays me sometimes too. When they go back and talk clips and all this, you can check check on Bleach if you want to. Why does he, uh, okay, let's go ahead. We got an international call. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, Jim. Hey, what's up? Uh, what's point. this guy's, wait, wait, hold got on. Uh, what's his name? C, uh, CEO of Ian Ellis. What's up, bro? 
You're speaking to Tyler. Who the fuck is CEO? All right, so CEO of uh, Actually, no, you know, you fuck me, Jimmy. What's up? I got a question for you. All right, let's go. I haven't spoken hey, to you in a long time. I don't know the whole story. I've heard you're trying to be a basketball player now. I'm not you're a basketball, to be basketball player. Basketball but... motherfucker. Let me. Well, when I you know go more than you. A free throw, like there's them dudes with the mops gonna come out and you know clear up the puddle of tears and shit when you miss and all that. Like, how does that work? I'm trying to figure it out because let, let me know how you know because you know you 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 do a lot of crying. I ain't real into that crying shit on air because then you start coming up. No, Jimmer, then you start talking about how you're tough and all that shit. But you cried on air, man. Like you slit your wrist. What's up? Okay, so you never cried. How many colonic pin are you on right now? Just out of curiosity. Uh, probably about zero point five milligrams. Do you know what that is? How much box wine per day? Jim, you, how is it, Jim, you didn't cry like this when they took your kids away from you, but you cried because hmm. you weren't going to do your podcast no more? When did they take my kids away from me? Do you have uh, proof of that? When? You told us. You fucking told us. No, no one took my In kids away from me. In the divorce settlement. Dude, I just want to know. I want to know. Actually, if, I, if you actually you go to... Why do you still do this show? Why do you still yeah. do this show, Jim? Because I'm why the man you and you're listening because you love me for some reason. No, but just imagine if you were quitting a job and then you're like, oh, well, you know what? Not everybody knew that I was quitting my show, so I have to come back the next day and do another show. Like, come on. What are you fucking talking about, Jim? Jim, you What are you talking just, about? Why, can't, why don't you just go back and do the Jim show and stop this basketball bullshit? Oh, because you love like, me you, that much. Hey, I wonder, Jimmer, okay, I, so who's I having the success Jimmer, right now? Wait, wait, Ian Ellis, CEO. Memorial basket? Ian Ellis, CEO. Who's ha- wish list right. that has two, I'll let you talk, uh, I guess. Oh, I guess I'll let you talk. Why do you need a $13 waste paper basket? What is the situation when it comes to this your thing, waste paper basket? basket? I don't know. You want to buy it for me? You can buy but it for I, me. I, I don't know how much use it's going to be. He's evolving. Jim or Nam. Format. Split wrist. Why am I? Why am I better than everybody else that you've been on and listened to? Why am I better? Uh, Jim, because you are. You are I am, going to be inducted the into the inaugural Hall of Achievement. I you am are a great god. Achiever. You're an amazing fool. I am a god. I mean, I and you bow down great. to me. And wait. you Every listen from like, me from oh, a different you, country. You listen to me from a different country. Because you love me that so much. Does, so does you Joe are Booney so involved. <laughs> what difference does that make? Are you saying Joe Boney shit? Hey, number one, why did Sam no, no, ban you? you? I mean, I'm how do you ban her? Joe Boney shit because he's listening to you from the same country. Look, how did you get shaded from Unbleach and uh, uh, Saiyans Entertainment? Why did Kyle and Matthew Stearns uh, decide to give you the boot? And Gonzo, uh, Jeff Hansen. I was just on uh, Kyle's show yesterday. What are you talking that really about, sucks. Jeff? Dude, that's Why horrible. Why don't we talk about you from See, you would have, had, you would have a better success rate if you weren't on that show. You faked it. You faked that. Tara told us the truth. The girl that oh, lied Tara to with Dildo the, uh, painted up like a frog. <laughs> Tara, told us the truth okay. about you. Uh, Tara, the girl with the the gap between her teeth, the hillbilly yeah, whore the that you refer to her as. Stray hand teeth. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. What about her? Yeah, she told us the truth. Now, right? Jimmy, you're a liar. You are a lying, mm. Jimmy. You a liar. You were right. lying, motherfucker, and I told you. So what did I, I lie what about? Jim, what did I tell you in, like, March? I said... Hey, why don't you join you the Discord so I can have a better conversation with you? Show. And look at this night. You don't have your cam host. You don't hey, have your read Why don't you have... Why don't, don't we have a better have conversation? You come, okay, Jimmer, listen to me. we own you. Hey, we listen you, to Jim. me, Ian Ellis. I own you. CEO, listen to me. Why don't you come into Discord? It's, it's very C-Dope, easy. dope actually. Why don't you come in? Somebody renamed me CE Dope. That's my name. Why don't you come in? Let's have a let's have a civil conversation. And then you stole I'll your whole idea of a show Bunny? from Joe Booney right. too. By the way, that's the great thing. You started doing a sports show because you realized you couldn't hack it. As You're right. A fucking mm-hmm. radio guy. And then here's the thing: you shit on Unbleached, talking about how oh he's doing a he show sucks. about a radio show from the '90s when you started covering Howard Stern. You're yeah, a but he sucks. You're he a, sucks. The best part about this, I'll say this. 
I gave Donnie a lot of shit, but, and he acted like a real pussy bitch and an asshole, but he didn't break down crying on the fucking air. You so do you want to talk to me like a real man, man or do you want to just sit out here on Hangouts? Oh, Jimmy, you ain't CEO, messing with game, CEO, dog. CEO, game, Come on the Discord, brother. The game, yeah, dog. come just in on Discord shit, so we can you hear you better. Game. Hey, so why don't you come in on Discord? It's very simple. I'll give you the uh, invite via YouTube. And we'll go talk. Because I'm talking to you right now, motherfucker. I'm talking to you on the phone. We talking. What's up? I could barely. I, I mean, it, it's really hard listening to you. Number it's one, because really you're cracking voice. Because your really voice. Because you're barely you in puberty. You only say shit like this when you get put on the ropes. That's what happens. So why don't you come and in, I, dude? I don't what are you afraid of? You out what of are you afraid of, dude? What are you afraid of? CEO. What are you afraid of? What you gonna you gonna give out my phone number again? Just you give out No, I, I just want I want that? you to Go come ahead. in and we can talk. Why don't you come Dude, in here? I don't want to talk to the chief doctor. All right, so why doctor. did you call? You why Dr. did you Dollar. call me Jim then? Why here? are you why on my you nuts? Do why you why don't you go to... ahead and have a great weekend? It's Friday why night. You, you should be out. You should be trying to, to get laid. You should be trying to... I don't know what the fuck you should be doing, but you should try to do something with your life. It's Friday night, bro. And you're sitting here yeah, listening to an Asian Friday guy. Night, that is the worst thing to do. To, on me. Dude, the fact that you're YouTube sitting here listening to an Asian you're guy cool. do a you're show. You're entertainment. I love it. Yeah, the I fact that you're great. sitting here. The you're going to say, you're what's the fact that you're watching me, but you're sitting your shit. That's what you're saying. Pretty much, I am telling you, you. I, I am the king of the shits. Of I am the king of Saiyan's Entertainment. I am the king of Unbleach. I am the king of Gonzo. Gonzo's nothing. They, they, they had Jackie Martin on. They had Jim, six views, bro. Let's just get this straight. Do you think I give a two fucking shits about Gonzo? I don't care I'm if you do. I'm telling you facts, bro. Well, if you want to come talk. Gonzo and Jasmine are absolutely, they're good, they're good, they're a good pair for their show. No, That's I'm fine, dude. Just, I don't I'm give a shit. shit. Oh my god, this guy's voice is cracking. I don't really care to. So why do you think that's a diss on me? Why do you think it's a diss on me, Jim? Dude, why don't yeah. you come in here Jim, and talk to me like a man? You got no cam hoes. Where are your cam girls? Where Jessica Jada? Why I don't know. The They're with you the now. They're you? with you, bro. They're with you. Where they I need to be. Rights activist too, because I know I'm not. Actually, I'm the opposite of that. Like to put down women. I'm the opposite of that. We got the tapes. We got the tapes. I love putting down women, especially women like your mom and your sister. I love putting down women like your mom and your stupid baby sister. See, German, what you do, Joe Bunny? You like being associated with a two-faced fuck like Dude, German? Joe Bunny doesn't give like a fuck. I have bro. never, German has never said any harm things to me. Two wrongs don't make a right. Oh, so it's yeah. only okay if it happens to you now. See, Joe Bunny you used to be a man of principle. You used to be a man of principle. <laughs> I have, I have, not, I, I haven't heard anything German has said that. I have not said anything. Hey, see, I respect you too, man. I respect you too, but I'm not going to disrespect Jim and I because he disrespects somebody. Why would I do that? To show myself that I'm not loyal to my people, to you're my being fans? a two-faced fuck here because we have endless tapes of Jim and him. He called a 15-year-old boy's mother and told her that she he was going to fuck her son. That's what you're I have never heard that. I have never heard <laughs> yeah, that. I don't hear that. I never, nobody tells me this stuff. Nobody has told me this stuff, CEO. Nobody has told me it. Who's the 15-year-old uh -huh. mother? Who uh, Who is the 15-year-old? I don't Why know. Why you ask Tara? She's the one that told you not to fucking do it. Oh, Tara, you believe the gap tooth the whore that I you called her? her the hilly you. dill whore? Why don't you have her call in, Jimmer, dude? You're I a pedophile. Why did you have I'm a 12 boy running your fucking porno chat in your Discord? Oh, and really? And you deleted it. Why did you do that, Jimmer? Wait, 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 wait. Like my 15-year-old boy? I don't have a 15-year-old boy. I don't know what the fuck you you're talking about, bro. Kids, but you love them children, dog. Why you don't you come into my Discord and let's talk? How about that? Why don't you come oh, into my Discord? Right now. Why do I have to go in your Discord? Because, because you sound like shit. You probably sound, sound like shit so all across the board, you, but nigga, that's what happens, Jim. You oh, nigga. Touch your uh, what are you, touch white guy who, who loves to use the word nigger? All you like listening to, Jim? Other than yourself? I, I'm sorry, oh, I, I, I couldn't so. understand you. What was so. that? Say that again. Come again. I said, has there ever been a pedophile that you like listening to? Dude, I, I, we could barely hear you. If you, you come can in hear Discord, me fine, motherfucker. it Everyone would be so simple fine. if you come. You why, why is it that you can't come in Discord? 
He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand you a new asshole. I'm gonna hand you a new asshole, CEO. Am I gonna hand you a new asshole? Are you afraid? I guess you're afraid. I guess you're afraid, bro. What am I supposed to do? Uh, am I afraid? Jimmer, Jimmer. Yeah, the Discord link is right there, me. motherfucker. You don't Why don't you come me. in here? Talk to me like no, a man. I'm not, I'm not don't be a little pussy. Don't be a pussy, you little bitch. Jimmer, you do this whole thing where you like, yeah. you go, oh, yeah, come in and join me. And then you try to dox people. That's what you fucking do. You're Dude, the greatest thing about Tara, or, let me tell you something. The 12-year-old's about... <laughs> name, Darius, the 12-year-old, the, the one that you tried to touch. Why don't we talk about that kid? Oh, my fan, my my uh, NBA fan. The yeah, fan? he's, no, he's actually like pretty smart. He actually knows cat? his NBA shit. That you guy, that kid knows a lot more uh, than you do. Jessica Jade's teeth? What was that? Don't don't talk about Jessica Jade. Uh, she I'm has nothing to do with Jessica anything. Jane. I'll talk about who the fuck I want, Jim. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? You shouldn't bring up people that don't want to be brought up, dude. I respect Jessica. Well, you had I don't want to bring her show. up. You had her all this time. Why don't we talk about how Jessica Jade doesn't like you anymore? We could talk about how all honestly, these people, Jim, everyone leaves your life. That should tell you something. Uh, honestly, your kids, if you talk, your dog right. left your life, your wife. My dog left uh, my Jessica life. Jessica okay. Jade, Tara. Jessica Jade. Kenny, Actually. Um, uh, uh, Wendy, the retard. Who else left you? <laughs> All right. So Twitter, you don't want to talk Twitter, man to man. Do don't do it. Don't do that thing where you do that little fake laugh. and then. Don't, so why don't I'm you talk to me man to man, dude? I gave don't you the fucking invite to Discord. Why are you sitting <laughs> here on file, fucking... Uh, you always do that. The guy can't you even hear me. talk about a lot of gay shit. Are you a homosexual? Yes or no? Why don't you come in on Discord? I will explain hey, everything to you. Okay, You're so a we'll pussy, dude. That is a maybe. I will answer every goddamn question you, you right have here, if you come on the Discord. Jim, I'm talking to you here, nigga. How's that feel? Oh, I nigga. Uh, uh, nigga, 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 nigga. Table, bitch. Right, I got whatever, your wastebaskets, nigga. What you gonna do? I got so your when are you gonna hang up? You ain't got nothing. When, you, so when are you gonna hang up? You ain't got nothing, Jim. You ain't got your wastebaskets. I got your wastebaskets. So when are you gonna hang up, bro? I got your $350 fucking Bose noise canceling headphones. I got you, nigga. I got all your shit. All right, cool. So when are you gonna hang up? Because you're a pussy. Why? Why am I? I you can hang <laughs> up on me. You know what? If you don't, you're gonna act like you, this is your whole thing. You're gonna try and wait me out. I can go all night, nigga. dude. I, I told you, night. come in on Discord. We could have a we, talk about we can why, have why a conversation, bro. Dude, I will like, answer everything you have to ask me. That Dennis Rodman is gonna come back and play for the Clippers. Okay, so you're stupid. So go ahead and uh, you know nothing no, about not, sports. You I'm you have stupid. zero. I asked you a question. We talking basketball. You want to talk sports and steal more of Joe Booney's show? We can do that. What about wrestling? Joe likes wrestling. We can talk I about that. I love wrestling. Yeah, I love wrestling. What is the situation with your waste paper basket? Do you have? We all, everyone from Kyle's show wants can everyone, to know. Can everyone be on a good side right now? Do you have waste paper baskets? Uh, no, I don't, because I know I'm going to be moving out soon. And so, I'm going to be moving back to a better place. So why wait, would I wait, want hang, a fucking Just hang on a second. Basket? So you don't buy a $13 waste paper basket because you're moving? Dude, I have, no, what, like, what I have a place to dispose the, my the trash. Still dead. Let me explain to him something to you. Okay? Son, let me explain something to you, son. Oh, you're I already have a waste don't basket. Me, Jim. I, I don't need it. It's called a don't wish list shit. and hey, whatever, no, dude. Nobody. Be, 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 be friends on here. Come on. Hey, Joe, can you get this guy in here on the Discord? Why is he Joe. so? Why no, is no, he no, afraid? I'm Joe, Joe, Bunny, let's. You're, well, let's you're not. You're Joe. afraid, bro. You have a garbage basket in your room. Okay, so why don't you come in on Discord so we can have? I actually have it beside my basketball stuff. I have a little garbage that's actually. It's actually a basketball. The rap. Joe thing Booney uh, got a better garbage bin situation than a grown four-year-old man. Oh, I have a, I have a garbage actually somewhere. I always throw my paper. Dude, out if you have Joe Booney owns you at your own shit. He owns you at your own shit. He owns you, you at life. He's got that very basic low-level shit of life worked out. He's got his garbage. If situation you have any rat. balls, you got whatever your name C is. CEO, CEO, what do you? Th okay, let, let, let's talk about the UFC. What do you think about McGregor's return after he doesn't his know. suspension and pleaded guilty in uh, in court? And who's who's well, McGregor going to face? Joe, that 
you know, it is prize fighting. It's not. Um, okay, a, so who's McGregor going to face? Judging people's morals. So, no, you know, no, I, you I idiot. Don't think Shut the fuck thing. up, you, you fucking I think, pussy. I think McGregor should have been made maybe a little more of an example, but hey, I don't pussy. have a problem with Hey, pussy. Hey, you little girl. Fighting. Hey, Barbie. Hey, Barbie doll. Uh, who is McGregor oh, going to face? Barbie doll. What's yeah. up with that? Jimmy called me Barbie doll. Oh, he doesn't want to answer right, the question. Well, I guess Barbie. he What's doesn't up, know. I guess you're not a fucking Joe Rogan fan, huh, you faggot? Do you know who he's going to no, face? I think Joe and what, pussy. what and UFC is he going to face no, at? What number? You, he has no what number, so motherfucker? UFC, what UFC, number? UFC 229 on October 6th. Oh, oh, don't tell him. Don't tell Las him. Vegas. The don't TV tell him. Mobile Arena, baby. You know what? He's not going to even know. Oh, what UFC is, is Conor McGregor going to face? Who is he going to face next? At Conor what McGregor? UFC? What? Who's Conor that? McGregor. Conor who is he going to face? Who is he going to face next in Las Vegas? Who? Habib Nurmagomedov. Habib? Dumbass. Habib? It's pronounced Habib. The K is silent. Ah, okay. So yeah, 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 October, October, October 6th. No, no, no. What so UFC? What UFC team, number, you team little team cunt? What UFC, Gaylord? What? Hey, Gaylord, what UFC number? 229. Oh, really? Yes, for the lightweight championship of the world. Who did, who did he beat last? Conor McGregor. His last beat UFC last? fight or his last fight in general? Who'd he beat last? What does it matter? It, I, I dude, don't know it's exactly. it's very fucking I'm simple, you cuck. You, cuck. Is, you are a cuck. I want to say it was Nate Diaz by decision, but you're it might have been Eddie Alvarez by knockout. Wow, you're what a you, cuck. What's your point here, Jimmy? Holy shit, you're a cuck. I'm, I'm a cuck because I yeah. don't know the right answer. Is that it? Yeah, let me go ahead no, and ask you a ballerina question. Okay, why? Let's 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 wait, talk wait, about this. Jimmer, McGregor. Like, wait, wait, why did the, the UFC bring back Conor McGregor into the UFC? The That's a big question. Sports trivia question. Hey, when's the last time you saw Frozen? No, no, answer my question, Jimmer. Answer hey, my when's question. When's the last time you saw Disney's Frozen? I've never seen Frozen. All right, so last night you know, we do like. You know what's great That's about cool. this too? How your voice is slowing down now that the liquor is. Getting in your system, the wine, the box wine. You're uh, all right, Jim. I like your disses, dude. You're we such a cock w- that w- you won't w- even call it. News: Does Roman Reigns walk out as the Universal Title, or does Brock Lesnar retain it and become two-time champion at the UFC to win the championship and WWE Univer- Universal Championship? He'll probably well, know, you know this because he loves you know, guys and tights. He asked me that question, Jim. Yeah, because you love guys and tights, you fucking, you fucking gay lord. Now. 100%. You are such a faggot. Thank you very, thank you very much. Question, and I was reading a little earlier. I it believe says, you Angle, are such a I faggot. He tells Paul Heyman if Brock Lesnar doesn't show up on the ring tonight, Paul Heyman's contract will be terminated. That was two weeks two weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. Did you guys uh-huh, come back that? You faggot. You're such a fag, you stupid. I didn't answer the I wasn't able to answer the question because you're a fag. rudely interrupted with his Because you love ballerina shit. Bread. You love ballerina shit. Tap dancer. Let's all be fellow Americans and fellow Canadians. Who's the greatest tap dancer in Canada? How about you do something smart? Hey, who's the greatest tap dancer in Canada? Don A was shitting on me. He called me CE Dope. Why don't you go with that? Hey, hey, Don A's a good guy, man. He's my friend, man. Never heard of him. Sorry. You've never heard of Don A, the guy who had to talk you out of suicide the other night that we all have the fucking tapes of? Nope. I don't know if I can do it anymore. Jimmy, I, man, I was just I talking about Don A before. I start, you remember? I start mm. shit with everybody, and then I can't handle it when he comes back on me. Oh, <laughs> you got <laughs> trolled. CEO got so trolled. Brock wow. Lesnar. Does Brock Lesnar walk out as a universal champion, or does Roman Reigns? Roman yes, Reigns. Brock Lesnar does, Joe Booney, because it's a better storyline. No, he's uh, stupid. No, uh, let me tell you something, Joe Booney. Uh, Joe Booney, let me answer that question. Brock yep. Lesnar is no longer part of the WWE. He's going back to the UFC. And uh, so go fuck yourself, CEO, and go listen to the tap dancing or watch your tap well, dancing I was hearing some YouTube breaking videos. News that wait, Vince wait, McMahon wait, was talking Cameron, about Brock Lesnar working you know in the UFC and the WWE the at the WWE same time. The last time he fought the UFC. Two champions at once. 
for two companies di for two different companies are you a so, retard he's gonna fight daniel cormier you fucking idiot you probably didn't know that you should yeah and he's still gonna be a part of uh, he's still gonna, gonna be a part of you i've been watching i've been watching a lot longer than you and second off he's yeah, gonna be a part of the nxt can you smell what the rock is cooking ladies and gentlemen we are with jimena and the ceo and joe booney myself and we are going fanatic like a radish and, and ceo and brothers and sisters and CEO sucks. He sounds like a little ballerina from Black Swan. Wait, wait, baller Jimmer, you've got to stop with ballerina because you got called out because you were gonna go with faggot or homo or bring up something else. You're going with ballerina. Dude, you are a homo. On, I'm sorry, bro. Uh, uh, dude, you're like high pitch Mike. You're a homo. I, I don't know what to say. It's okay. Everyone it's okay. you. You I know you're a homo. I, it's okay. Dude, it's all right, bro. I know you love Matthew Stearns. I know it it, it it turns you on when you see his ball sack and his right fucking cheek. Okay, I get yeah. it. It, I, it makes sense, yeah, bro. There are videos out there. It totally makes all, all sense, bro. About? Hey, fat boy, it totally makes sense. I saw a picture of you. Kyle sent it to me. He said, yeah, I mean, I mean, God damn, you're fat, bro. Why? Why are you so fat? Because uh, I like to eat. Why are you a chink? Like, what's it's, the point it's of this It's really question? bad that you're that fat, bro. You're going like to die CEO. soon. Who, who's fat? Exercising your shit. Uh, CEO is fat. He's huge. You thought Kyle was fat. I mean, Jesus, look at this guy. I don't really make fun yeah, of and Mark really List is like gonna... 600 pounds with fucking No, Mark List is actually I'll tell you skinnier. Story about me quickly. I was actually, uh, I almost lost 100 pounds uh, actually in two years. I was 320 pounds. Now I'm 230. I'm well, you know what, Jim, or, or you know what? Joe Booney, we have a body shamer here. Hey, guess so, who's here? Chair's bum's here. Hey, the girl that you called a, uh, a fucking uh, hick who had a... Uh, a gap between her teeth, a hick, or hey, Tara. Hey, Joe. Yeah, the same one that you were talking shit about. So. All right, I'm whatever. Of, I'm a big fan of Tara. Tara yeah, is absolutely a phenomenal person. It's just Dude, you are, you, pussy, you, you, are you are such a pussy, bro. You are such a big pussy that you wouldn't even call in to the Discord. I gave you the Discord. I gave you the fucking Discord, bro. I'm not bro. going in your Discord, Jim. I don't like that. I don't want to be in a place because you're a pussy, dude. You're nothing but a pussy. Who is that? All you do is. You're too, you pussy. You're too pussy. You're too pussy. All you do is suck Tara, Kyle's Tara. cock and Matthew Stern's cock and Jeff Henson's cock. That's the, the, the CEO Tony of Tara. Robbins impersonator. CEO of oh, what? Suicide. CEO of Ian Ellis's manager. Just cancel your show. How many times have you fucking talked about cancel Let me tell you something, show, Tara. You're doing really you well. You don't do it. You don't do it. keep doing what you're doing. Jimmy, here's the thing. If you thank you, your thank show, you so much. You would at least be you can, following you can through. Check me, um, you can check All right, me on can Google I hang up Facebook, on you, CEO? Go nuts, dude! I'm not hanging up. You can hang up on me all you want. I want to hang up on you. Look, I'm sorry, Joe Booney. Can I talk? I'm sorry. Somebody disrespects Tara. That's when Tara, that size 15 uh, would have made in Germany goes up that Joe, you are gonna have to You are already. I'm a fan, 100 already. You were a doll. Listen, a CEO of Ian Ellis, Canadian, who's actually, so. by hey, the way, we have a oh, lot of Canadians in our Discord. You hey, why don't you have Ian Ellis call in? Because I would love to talk to that stupid idiot and make fun of his comedy. By the way, I'm gonna make you humble, and I don't want anybody to disrespect you because the one that somebody disrespects you, they disrespect you. That's not good, Tara. Thank you, thank you so much. You are so sweet. You're so. Oh, that fucking idiot fucking hung up it. i'm glad he, he hung up because he was horrible dude it's not that he it's not that he was horrible jimmy he was just pissed not. off maybe what people said yeah he, he was obviously mad i don't i didn't listen to the whole thing i just came here so i don't know what was going on so why don't you talk to me like a man dude i mean what the fuck dude you got a problem come in here i, I invited who you, the who are you talking to I'm talking about the CEO of uh, Ian Ellis, who's an unfunny fuck. He just wants but to anyhow. talk over you, not what you talk. Terry, you have a beautiful, beautiful American accent, too. Thank hey, you. Hey, Tara. All right, Tara, what's up? Hey, Kenny, how are you? How are you doing, Tara? I'm pretty, I'm honestly really good, considering, Jimmer. Considering, <laughs> considering what? <laughs> What's up? Come Considering on, don't, my dog don't act like I'm a my stranger. Hmm? 
but that's how I'm calling in. I'm calling in because I want to hear about you, Jimmer. How are you? I'm doing good, man. Can we can we please just give a moment of silence because Tara's dog has passed away? Please give a moment of silence with respect. Wait, 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 hold on. Your dog passed away. Which one? Henry, my service dog. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, sorry to hear that. Dear God, I hope that how's your baby? Play with it. Yeah, he was. He is. He's. It's. How's the baby? Is is the baby Sucks. okay? You had a puppy. He I remember. Keeps wandering around, like crying and looking for him, and it's fucking sucks. <laughs> it's not really much to say about that. Sorry, Tara. Um, you know, animals are so dear to us in our lives, and it, you know, it, I'm sorry. Hey, that's not good. They're oh, yeah. the purest, most loving, innocent, best friend a person can have. Yeah, I remember, dude. We saw we saw Henry um, in in videos, and uh, I don't know, man. It sucks. Sorry to hear your dog passed away, Tara. I had a bird actually have passed away a few months ago, and it, you know, just a bird passing away. Imagine a dog. It's very, very sad and. May God bless you, and I hope your dog's in heaven right now enjoying a cup of tea. How old was the dog? He was two years old. He was two years? my best friend. He um Jesus Christ. I got him because I needed something to catch me when I fall, literally. I have basal vocal syndrome and I randomly faint. And uh, he God, can detect when I'm about to faint. Okay. So when I go grocery shopping, I would bring him with me. When I go places, he comes with me. And kind of while he catches me, he caught me. And uh, Kenny, uh, Kenny, uh, Tara, how did he? He's two years old and he passed away. What happened? Yeah, really. It's a young dog. Yeah. Very young. Must be sick. It was a freak thing. I let him out. At Two o'clock in the morning, and it was an um, accident. Something affected him, and he took off running towards the fence. He busted through the fence. He was a big dog. He was ninety pounds. He was a large dog, and he busted through the fence, and he just kept going. And he ran about a half a mile to the road. I don't live near the road, and it was three o'clock in the morning. I don't fucking understand it at all. It's not fair to me at all. And uh, the one car that happened to be driving on the road at the time hit him. Sucks. Yeah. That's yeah, horrible. I mean, so, two years old, I mean, that's so young for a dog. It's, um, you know, and, and dude, we saw Henry. We, I mean, I mean, you guys you remember. I mean, the old German nation remembers, man, about, uh, you know, I don't know what to say, man. That's a bummer. I don't know what to say. That's I'm sad. So sorry. That's not funny at all. Uh, fuck, man. Yeah. I'm sorry, Terry. I don't really know what you're going for. What? I've never had a pet, so I don't know what you're going for, but. I'm sorry that this happened. No, I mean... Thank uh, you, Kenny. Hmm. Why is one of the Maybe I will one day. I don't know what to say after that. I mean... <laughs> this, uh, okay. There's nothing to say. Just right. Nothing to say about that. The uh, reason I came here was because I wanted to talk to you, Jimmer. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Thank you, Tar. I'm sorry, you cut out. You doing okay? I'm doing okay, yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> you uh, are starting over your Discord, or you're not doing Discord anymore? Really no, tell. this is a temporary thingy. Uh, I did this uh, the night before, and uh, you know, just just to get calls, and stuff like that. Um, 
Do we even pick this call up at this point? Oh no, we're calling the other show. All right. What do you want? This is scrappy. Fucking yeah, what's up with D-Terror? Besides, uh, you know, the bad news and stuff, uh, how are you doing? I'm doing really well. I, I honestly can't complain. I'm doing really well. Honestly, I wanted to call to like see how you were doing, and um, I, I honestly haven't, I haven't got to listen to the whole show tonight, so... Yeah. Um, I don't know how far I don't know how far you're into the show tonight. I don't know how far you've been streaming. I can only assume that you've been here since ten thirty. But uh, when I tuned in, the first thing I heard was you saying, you know, that I'm a gap tooth whore. I didn't say that. That is I, your I, opinion. That's not true. I didn't so say that. Tara. It kind of compelled me to want to call in and and Tara I didn't say this that this was I never s- something that I actually even asked you come to think of it this was never something that I actually asked you and and it made me realize that I want to ask you what what did I do specifically hey, Tara what, I I never said that about you I I was saying that that idiot from Canada um the CEO of uh Ian Ellis called you that. Sands Entertainment called you that. That was what I was saying. I never called you that, nor do I ever would say that about you. I was saying, I was confronting the guy and saying, oh, weren't you the guy who said Tara is a fucking gap tooth, bill, hillbilly whore? That was you. And he said, yeah, that was me. Who gives a fuck? And then he was like, oh, Tara said this about you and that and said you're a child predator and all this. That's what he said. So I said, dude, get in here on Discord. Let's talk. Because I could barely hear him on the fucking uh, uh, hangout. Say, I never called you specifically a gap tooth whore. I would never say that. So uh, I don't know what you listened to, what part. I did say that to let him know that he's the one who who said that. And other people said that, like Unbleached, Matthew Stearns, and Kyle Swinley said the same shit. He, he, Kyle, who's who's Saiyan's Entertainment, said... Oh my God, she puts out pictures on Twitter and says, this is me, but it's not her. She looks totally not like that. She looks, you know, he was the guy who said that. All I was doing was reiterating what these idiots were saying. I never felt that way. I've never said that. So if you heard me say that tonight, I was pretty much confronting this guy who called in and who's a pussy who hangs up all the time. Why wouldn't he okay, just so talk to what me? What I'll say about that is I don't know who was fucking calling you tonight. I never heard that voice. It sounded like unbleached to me. Unbleached. I don't. I don't fucking talk to him. He's a pain in the ass. It's Ian I will Ellis say this. CEO. Kyle, on the other hand, Kyle Sanz. Kyle. I haven't talked to anybody else specifically from Sanz. I have talked to Kyle, and me and Kyle have come to a solution agreement a uh, uh a peaceful ending to our problems whatever you want to call it 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 doesn't really matter it's not really significant between me and you but at this point i'm not like i'm not calling i don't i don't care about anybody else in this call right now i i just want to know how you're doing jimmer and I would like to know, you know, how you feel about me, what what specifically I did that that um, bent to you, that tilted you, that made you feel how you feel about me. And okay. go from there. All right. That's fair enough. Um, look, uh. 
I mean, all I could say is with the whole Kyle situation with Sands, I mean, the guy, if you go back to everything he talked about you and said about you was horrible. And uh, everything he said I know about what he his, said. That's, okay. So I know what he said, and that's, yeah. that's between me and him. And everything he said about Zuki, and he continued to say it until you joined him for some reason. I don't know why, but then he, he has a different, I, I, I don't know, did he ever say anything about Zuki? I mean, he said he was tranny, he kept making mm-hmm. fun of uh, Zuki. I didn't like so that So how do you dude. feel about me? So, what, what did I do to you, Jimmer? Nothing. I, well, when did I really what did, how did this super all start? attack you though, Tara? Like, how did I, didn't, I offend you? What, what did I do that pissed you off? What triggered there's no, you? There's nothing that you specifically did Where that did pissed I me off. Where did I go wrong? Uh, you didn't do anything wrong. That's what I'm wrong. asking you. Okay, I'm telling you, you didn't do anything wrong. All I'm saying is that a, uh, I think because of the split of the Discord and there's a lot of drama going on in Jimmer. between. Hold on one second, uh, Kenny. Uh, a lot of drama and a lot of like back and forth type deal. A lot of people wanted to create a lot of drama. And I'm not going to out them all, but I'm just saying, and I'm not blaming anyone for it. I will take all the blame if, if that's what I need to do. But I'm just saying, like, that's why I deleted the Discord. That's why I deleted everything. I'm, I'm like, done with the entire f- old format. It's not like I capitalized on it. I went out at the top. We had 80, 90 some uh, people, live viewers, and I just said, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm doing other stuff. I'm doing NBA stuff. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just not going to do that anymore because I just kept feeding into the machine. And, and there's a lot of people out there who, who, who will n- be named nom- anonymous because that's who they are. They hide behind these fucking little logos that have nothing to do with them. They have no fucking name. I don't know who they are. They send me shit through Twitter, Facebook, and and through Discord. And I got sick of it, dude. Can you believe what they're saying about you in this server? Can you... Here's an audio clip. And I know it's out of context, okay? But then when I hear it, it's like, oh my God, you know? That's what you get as a human being. You react that way. So I got caught in the moment. And I said, you know what? Enough is enough. And and, and I'm gone, dude. And, And... um. And, and that's where I'm coming from. I have nothing against you, uh, Tara. Uh, I made my peace with uh, Jessica. I, I've, I spoke to her. I have nothing against you. And, uh, but, but it ended up that way somehow because of the fact that I allowed this shit to happen. It was my fault because I allowed it to happen within that community, dude. And you know what? I'm glad that it's handed off to Kenny. And whatever happens over there, it seems like everything's going well over there. But that's the truth, man. And uh, if, if you want something else, there's no other story. I, I've moved on. I've done everything that I needed to do there. And, th- and then I'm trying to move on from that. I deleted the Discord. It's not like I try to, like, one-up somebody. I mean, I, I literally left at the top of everything. I mean, yeah. 80, 90 viewers. And I could sit here. Yeah, there's 60 viewers right now because of the fact that people are like, oh, my God. They're probably messaging each other and saying, oh, you should listen to this. They're on, you know. But if it was a regular basketball fucking live stream, no one would be in here. Maybe 19 people, maybe less than that. Just like I've been having. And I'm okay with it, you know, because I've moved on from that stuff. I don't want that kind of drama. I don't want to be involved in that. It's not worth it to me. Well, I nothing I'll to say do with this. You, Tara, and I'm to sorry. begin with, you started off as a drama channel. Or at least my experience, you started off with a with a drama channel, and you you changed your fetish to basketball, which is cool. Um, I will say this: as far as the back and forth, the unnamed, the nameless, the uh, no name people who started tr- like trouble between us, when they came to me, I blocked them. So when they came to you, I don't know why you didn't block them, and I'm sorry that they got to you. Um, I think that, I think that you have potential that you squandered maybe because you let the hearsay of a nameless, uh, your words, a nameless account, your words get to you versus somebody that maybe I'm reaching here versus a friend that you knew because I thought 
because when when we interacted, I always thought that you were a friend that I knew. So that's what I would consider. Uh, that's what I would hope you would consider me as. Um, at the end of it, it it doesn't doesn't really help me at all. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that because. All that gives me is uh, there's some nameless people, you know, that caused you to say what you had to say. But um, my problems with you are only things that you said verbatim that I heard you say on air that really, you know, were low blows and kind of fucked me up. So it kind of sucks to be in that position. <laughs> uh, you know what? I... I I can't I can't disagree with you on that. Um and I, I, I can't explain to you uh the experience that I had. Um again, like I just started YouTube and all this other stuff like literally uh about a year ago in a couple months and the format that you're you're used to and I'm used to, um it's been eight months and uh and then discord and all this other stuff man uh social media it's just like quick information that anybody can give you and then it's like edited information it doesn't matter man I, i'm sure i have edited information out there where they they will isolate my um again they send it to people that have been that are uh my family members and stuff right and, and they only get the isolated sort of audio and what can you get from that when you don't have any context behind it? And so, yes, I, I failed in, in that sense because I got caught up in that kind of horse shit and Dude, uh, I, I probably should have ignored it. Mind. I pay no attention to them. No, I should have ignored it. Kenny, but, you um, do. Don't even talk. No, I don't. It's between me and Jimmer. Um, I'm just saying his fingers, I paid him no It mind. doesn't... It doesn't. Kenny, uh, if you didn't pay him any mind, you you wouldn't have invited me and banned me from your server within thirty minutes. Don't we? We don't got nothing to talk about. And this that's not his fault. But I I don't know if that I don't know what happened there, but that's probably not his fault either. I think it's well. A lot that's of not people. between me and you, Jimmer. That's between me and Kenny. I mean, eventually, if he ever wants to talk to me, he can. But that's not between us. Fine. I'll stay out of this. Um, and I'll be the first to admit, you know what? Uh, I apologize. I'm sorry for the way that I've acted. Um, again, it's it's stuff that I was overwhelmed with and uh, probably shouldn't have uh, allowed to get into uh, my head, but it did. I am a human being. I, uh, I'm not a robot. Um, I react in ways that uh, any normal human being would react, but that's not an excuse. That's not uh, a, a reason for saying that uh, I had the right to do what I did, but uh, uh, I do consider you a, a friend and, and somebody who has uh, contributed a lot to whatever I was doing. I didn't even know what I was doing, but, um, you know, and... and uh, I, I hope you know my heart because I I, I feel like uh, I've showed you and, and Zuki and whoever that's been close to you, the, the real me. And, and then on top of that, yes, I understand how it kind of fell out. But I hope that you realize uh, that, uh, you know, there's certain things that I, I could take and not and stomach. And, and then I uh, I got caught up in a lot of things and... and and you see the results, man. I don't have a Discord. I don't. I, I, I literally am hated by probably everybody from Jimmer Nation. And it's okay with me because maybe I deserve that, you know? And, oh, and you. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm not going to lie to anybody. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest and truthful. Uh, if I have to cry, I have to cry, you know? Uh, I'll, I'll be a man about that. And if I, uh, if, I wouldn't be here right now. If I feel like I've wronged people, I have, and I've apologized whether or not people want to accept that or not. But uh, to you, Tara, uh, you know, like I was probably, I, I was wrong. 
But on top of that, I was getting fed information, but then at the same time, I should have been, uh, you know, I don't know how to deal with that, man. I really don't. And that's why I'm out of it. That's why I'm not doing what I do uh, like I normally do have done, been doing for the eight months that I have. And, and that's why I decided to uh, close out Discord permanently. There was no, you know, uh, there was rumors that, oh, somebody got him uh a ban from discord i don't even know how you could get some banned from discord that's and i have my discord right now which is temporary by the way but uh, i'm just telling you guys the truth that uh you know I, I got caught up in a lot of the hoopla that people were sending me uh whether it was real uh there are some people that i know uh that have sent it to me and people will all know their names but I don't want to be the one who just like goes, okay, well, it's this guy and that guy. Because, again, they could probably have been fed wrong information too. But, uh, yeah, that's just the situation. Um, I never hated you. I never disrespect, you know. Like, I probably said things that were very disrespectful out of emotion and reaction from whatever I received. It wasn't something that I meant or anything like that from the heart. I try to convey that to Jessica Jade. And uh, I feel like uh, uh, Jessica and I actually were able to figure that out and we moved on from it. And uh, I could only support her and whatever she's doing as um, um, an individual. But, you know, I didn't have an opportunity to actually talk to you about that, Tara. So. Well, technically, you had the opportunity to talk to me directly after you talked to Jessica, but. You're probably right. You know, Honestly, but... I just I just appreciate you talking to me calmly and coolly right now. And um, honestly, I think that you have potential that you're probably squashing. I think that the drama, the toxicity of it, I think that that's no way for anybody to go and there's no real way for anybody to um be able to create any kind of real community mm, i thought that we had the same idea when we created the discord that we were going to create a real community of friends people who cared about each other uh, a place that was kind of not necessarily a safe space in uh, political terms, but a safe space in the uh, way that, you know, people could meet and appreciate each other and talk when you're not around, when, when you weren't able to be around. Not a place that bred judgment or drama, not a place that fed drama. I think that the Discord that I have now has uh, accomplished that goal. And I hope that one day in the future you're able to accomplish that with whatever avenue that you find that eventually, you know, works for you. I don't know if it's going to be basketball uh, individually or sports altogether. I'm assuming sports altogether. Um, but I wish you the best. And I hope that we can put it into all the fucking ridiculous bullshit. Hope that next time I turn on your channel, you're not calling me a gap tooth whore, but maybe you're talking about basketball or whatever is uh, significant to your. topic well, at the time i hope you know that i i didn't call you that tonight um i was just but again uh i'm not saying i'm not at fault for anything but i do uh want to let you know that um you know you've been good to me and and the show and you know um i highly value you and zuki and all of them uh, for everything and um you know, I don't have anything bad to say ever, you know, uh, about you or anybody. And uh, and that's it. You know, I, I really don't. Uh, there's no beef here that people want to hear. 
Um, but you know, I, I'll have I'll just apologize for uh, allowing things to get out of control. And uh, you know, I I feel I feel good in the place that I'm at, where you know I don't I don't get all these messages anymore i still do get messages even till today um about certain things about i should get back to what i be need to be doing and you know and stuff like that but uh um you know i know where i want to be and you know that's not a place that i want to go back so uh I, I like hanging out with people here and uh hearing from a lot of the older uh, old school people, uh, and I, I'm excited for the newer people to come back in, come come in and uh, enjoy, you know, something that, you know, I bring to them as far as content is concerned. So, I mean, Tara, I mean, I like you a lot, man. I, I'm sorry that it came down to this, but, uh, you know, I, I don't have any ill will against you. I only wish you the best, you know, and, uh, and, Wait, I did and honestly, it. I really only wish you the same. Like, um, I'll be honest here lately, you, you haven't been rational in my opinion, which I don't know the behind the scenes. I haven't spoken to you in a while, in a long time. But what I knew of you before, shit wasn't fucking rational. Like, where you were coming from, what you were saying – it didn't make sense to me. I I never knew why you were pissed off. I never knew what I did to you. And I never understood w what was triggering you. And to me, it was just irrational. And I really appreciate, like, I, I really appreciate that you just fucking said sorry, because I didn't expect that at all. Honestly, what I expected was to be another blow up. Um, Honestly, I just, yeah. I hope that you find I hope that you find your niche and it makes you happy and we find some peace and eventually come back around to the original you know idea that we had where we thought that we were going to make a great community and I hope that you accomplish that thank you um I guess I did. I did want to add something. Um, uh, man, I know you've been through a lot this year um, with your brother, um, now with your dog, and also with your relationship and all that stuff. And uh, I'm sorry I was a burden to you in any way. If if I contributed any sort of a hardship there i uh I, it's not it was not um my intention uh so i do apologize for that um but um i'm so grateful to everybody that's been a part of um all that we're doing you know and and there's a lot of things i can't i, I can't explain everything because again we're, we're we're starting to get into that drama thing again which I don't want to be a part of, you know, I, I wish I could explain everything to everybody, you know, whether it's my personal life and all these other things that happened. Uh, Jim, and, have you heard of Mega Mags? I mean, whether I'm going to be outing people and saying, well, this person said that and that, I mean, when is it going to end? Somebody's got to end it, right? So it'll just end with me uh, as far as being at fault for everything. So uh, just that's where I want it to go. And, uh, you know, uh, but I do want people to know that, you know, uh, there's a lot of decisions that I, I made because of this, uh, due to a lot of personal things and a lot of things that happened that nobody knows about. So, um, but I do want to uh, apologize to those who have been hurt by a lot of things that I've said, um, that were not true, that were not from the heart or it's more of, a uh, a reaction from emotion and uh absurdity so you know these are friends that i've made uh tara's been a friend uh zuki's been a friend um he's always told me like he's had my back uh, even though i didn't know him that well 
and and that really means a lot to me and i'll never forget and uh um you know even terra's um ex you know i, I had some sort of i had a real i i remember even the time that i spoke to him on air um these are things that i will cherish and, and remember so uh, I apologize for. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't really cherish the time you talked to my ex because that right. was some. Bullshit, I'm not cherishing. But... I'm just acknowledging the fact that hey, I remember um, everything. I, I never forget. Um, you know, and, and uh, I appreciate everything that everybody has done, uh, encompassing from Tara to Jessica Jade to everybody, uh, even Goddess Yusako. I've mentioned that multiple times to Hanzi to. Um, everybody, Joe, Wendy, um, so, you know, I, I can't say anything bad about anybody anymore and I will never do that again. So, cause I'm out of that. Um, so I thank you Tara for being a, a bigger person than I am for actually calling in and stuff. And, you know, I, I wasn't expecting this actually, to be honest with you. I didn't know this was going to happen when I started this dream, but I'm glad it did. I honestly wasn't expecting it to go down like the way it was. I was expecting to just fucking hang up because of, you're going to call me something. But honestly, I'll say like the server that I'm in now, like it is, um, it's peaceful. It's friendly. Everybody cares about each other. And I will say that everybody still cares about you. And they all want you to succeed. And they all hope that whatever personal things are going on with you, because none of us really know for sure. We don't know what's going on with you. We yeah. hope that like we, we're all in agreement that things get better for you and that you get happy. Things work out. We're all rooting for you and we're all just waiting to see you, you know? climb back up the ladder thank you but at the same time we're a little uh hesitant and we're we're gonna wait and see how things work out but at the same time we're rooting for you it so, sounds great thank you so much appreciate that that's all i'm gonna say tonight i hope we can end this uh, on a good note we will good night. good night thanks tara appreciate that thank you Okay. Bye. Thank you for talking. Have a good night. All right. You too. I want to ask you, have you heard of Megatons? Uh, what was that what said? Was what did you say? I don't even know what you said. I said, have you heard of Megatron? Mm, didn't come through Megatron? No, Megatags. Metatags. Yeah. Yeah, what about meta tags? What do you yeah, want to know? They're, they're like whatever's trending. Copy and paste them on like the screen of your broadcast, and then hundreds of people show up because they're searching for that thing. How do you think okay. hundreds of people are watching the date at all? Because Kenny put mega tags in the broadcast. Okay. All right, Kenny. I'm just saying, I will. That's good. I would have had that over. I would have had that in my broadcast the whole time if I were you. Just saying. <laughs> All right, buddy. <laughs> yeah, meta tags are good, man. I mean, they'll they'll do wonders for your channel, probably. I don't know in the future. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I mean, there's a lot said tonight, Ken. How I mean, about my, that? My, my my server's pretty drama. -free. Your server your server's drama free. Well, I'm good. I, I'm glad. I'm I'm happy to hear that. If there's some guy uh, causing drama or some some right out, they're out. Yeah. You don't put up with that shit, right? Right. All right. And all the guys who hate you. I try to avoid there. Oh, uh, that's okay. They can hate me. Uh, it, there's no problem with hating me. Um, again, like I said, I, I will be the scapegoat for everything. Uh, there's no issue there. I mean, um, I'll take full responsibility. I mean, 
Uh, I should be the one who uh, understands that uh, uh, there's a greater responsibility and, and I, I fell short of that and, and thus I uh, deleted what I have to do, whether it was Discord and move on from a different channel. Uh, you know, it is what it is. I have to do what I have to do to uh, uh, make it a better situation for everybody. And I'm just glad it worked out for everybody. It seems like Terry has a great sort of a discord community and all that stuff and you have one and so you know what what else am i supposed to say you know that uh everything has worked out and you build a server i don't do that great <laughs> i could i could barely hear you motherfucker yeah, and when you're nba and you build a new discord permit one i don't do that great uh, I think so. I mean, I, I do plan Please on... Please come again. At Jimmerin and Hay. So happy to hear you doing a live stream. Peace and love. Oh, there you go. Trace. Hi, Tracy. It's been a long time. Uh, um, there's Steph Curry, uh, one of your boys from the Bay Area, right? Um, <laughs> I'll put in the Discord if you want to come in, Tracy. We can talk. Uh I just put it in right there if you need to talk because uh, I haven't talked to Tracy for a long time. So, um, yeah, it's cool. I think she's going through the question. She's going through. Uh, is she in your server by the chance or no? no? She, she left because she can't. She's so depressed over the split. And all this. Oh, okay. I don't want that to happen. Tracy, I, I, I don't want you to be depressed over anything. A split. There's no split. Um I, I encourage everybody to go over to uh, Kenny's channel um, and, um, you know, they're the same people that were in Jim and Nam Nation's channel, so um, you get the same sort of support as well, because there's a lot of good people in there. Uh, whoever's in there, they're good people, you know, so. Uh, well, they are. I mean, Kenny knows. And Kenny will kick the kick kick them the fuck out if they're not good. That's right. That's right. Even so, Wendy's in. Oh, Wendy's in there? Oh my god. It's been a while since I've actually spoken. Wendy Wendy. starts doing this whole thing, begging for money for that. She's gonna be <laughs> She's doing her usual thing, begging for money. We know uh, we're not gonna give her any. Oh boy. Yeah. All right, I, I read you Tracy uh any transplant. <laughs> I don't think she's depressed over the screen. I think she yeah. actually has depression. Uh, well, it's uh, more of a uh, health situation, and uh, I understand that very well. Um, yeah, she's still her mom and Sean. Uh, mm, yeah. I, I wish I had with... some words. Uh, Mm. I, I want to think of some words to say, but um, you know, I want you to be optimistic. Uh, I'm always because, up. You know, as we all know, you know, life is uh, uh, it's very short. Very, very short. Um, and, um, and especially when you're ill and you're going through a lot of difficult, difficult times uh, that requires some, something as serious as a, a transplant, kidney transplant, and all this stuff. I mean, it, it's horrible. And then you got children to worry about. You got all these things in your mind. And uh, I think that... Um, I hope he could stay optimistic and, and uh, 
um, positive about what's going to happen in the future for you because I think that's the only thing you can hold on to at this point. And I feel, I strongly feel that uh, good things will happen. Good things will come from it. Uh, you'll have down times in life. And, and this is one of those moments. You, you'll sit back one time in the future and you will laugh about this. You'll have a good laugh. And I know I can't convey that to you right now. Because it seems like, man, this is the end of the road. But uh, I want you to feel optimistic about it. I want you to know that everything's going to be fine. But, um, you know, but I understand. And I, I, uh, I'm with you on um, your journey. Because it is a journey, man. Life is constantly evolving and changing. And, uh, um, Uh, I think everything will be fine. I, I really feel that in my heart. I don't feel that much, but because uh, I, I never get that kind of feeling. But uh, when I do, I, I want to share that. So uh, stay strong. And I think... Um, just keep being positive about that. Things will work out. I feel sim similar to what you're saying. I hope things work out too, and I hope she stays very positive for all. Because that's all we have. You know. In life, that's all you got. You got uh, those that surround you that love you or don't, but what you what you can do is love yourself and uh draw strength from that somehow some way that everything will be fine and uh in life when you're by yourself you feel alone that is life you're not alone um there's a lot of people who are out there who suffer the similar things or uh, things that are much far off worse than what you are going through. But uh, nonetheless, it is a journey and you have to continue with that journey and you have to remember that uh, <clears throat> in the end, you will have the last laugh and you will look back and say, wow, you know, Look what happened. I've accomplished many things. And, uh, and this is another feat that you have uh, conquered in your life. Because it's a journey. And you got to do it for yourself. Don't think about anyone else. Think about yourself. This is the time to get selfish, like I told you. Time to get selfish, man. You got to get yourself good. And it's going to happen, I promise you. <laughs> I have no doubt about it, and I have a good feeling about this. I think you're going to get everything that you want as far as um, your transplant and everything like that. It's going to work out perfectly. Um, so I don't want you to worry about it. I want you to, be, I want you to rejoice in that shit. Do everything. Due diligence of what you have to do with the, you know, the hospitals or whatever, whoever you have to call, man, call them. Do what you got to do. But I, f I really feel strongly that things, just, things are going to happen for you. And then you're going to get your transplant. Next 10 years are going to be fucking amazing. Whether you're going to be on a trip, you're going to go on a trip, you're going to go do whatever you want to do. I don't know. Whatever you enjoy. I mean, I love watching movies in my bed, and that's what I do. But uh, to do that for the next 10 years, I'll be happy. So um, whatever it is, uh, people like to travel. People like to um, do certain things. Whatever you're going to find uh, that's joyful in your life, yeah, you, you will do that. It will happen. Um, so 
Uh, that's all I can say. I don't know. Kenny, you want to add something to that? Very wise words. I think you get plant. Life can come going in any direction you can it to. Just stay positive through, and life will move on and with it. Yeah, I agree, man. Yeah, unfortunately, life is full of hurt. Life is full of uh, <laughs> issues and problems that uh, struggles. And uh, I think that uh, we try to find ways to um, ignore that and things like that. But I think um, when I think of you, Tracy, I, I swear to God, I am not a religious person. I don't know. I cannot. I'm not a fortune teller. But I can feel something that um, it, 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 there's something good there. And I think you need to embrace that. And I think you're, you know what I'm talking about. I think you'll be fine. And, uh, and I'm sure we're going to have a troll now. Go ahead. Hey, this is Andy Dick. How are you doing? And hey, what's up, Andy? Hey, I'm, I'm taking some pills right now. And I'm wondering if I took too many. Do you take Kalanitans? Yes. How many do you take a day? Um, one. One? I took like four. Oh, my God. <laughs> How many milligrams? <laughs> How many milligrams? Because they come in different dosages. Oh, you got to hang up. Why you got to hang up, dude? <laughs> I took 0 0.5 milligrams in one pill. It's like nothing. Either. You know, that's nothing. 0 0.5 milligrams. I wish that it was way bigger. I don't think that was a real <laughs> Wait, what? I don't think that was a real Yeah, I'm having a hard time hearing you, bro. Sorry, I'll try and be closer to Mike. How come you're still awake, bro? I mean, I'll still awake. What? You know, so like, I don't know. All right, so come on, trolls. You want to call in? I guess I should make a title, like a stream called Trolls All Welcome, so I can talk to all of them and, you know, explain what I have to explain. <laughs> you know? Come on, dude. Like, Saiyans, please call me. Unbleach, call me again so I could put you in your little crib. I rock you to bed. Mark Lister. Mark Lister. Oh, my God, what a pussy. Mark Cullen, you idiot. <laughs> no one cares about you. The guys, it's so pathetic that the guy... I mean, what are you doing, Mark, dude? You live on YouTube. You hang out with a lispy YouTuber who nobody cares about anymore. No one cared about him in the first place. And now nobody cares about him even more. And then, I don't know, you jump over to different shows that nobody cares about. You jump over to my show. I mean, no one cares about it, but yet you think somebody cares about it, but you're a big guy on campus, I guess. I don't know. What are you doing with your life, bro? You got to go get married. You got to go have some kids. I don't know what you have to do with your life. I don't know, but it's not sounding good. I feel like you're still living with your mommy. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe like she's ill. Direction. I mean, seriously, bro. I, I don't know. Your pimp hand is not strong. You know what I'm saying? And I don't even know what that means, but your pimp hand is not strong, bro. You want to hear that? Uh, let me see if I could pull up that audio from I think so my long. Not strong. I asked out Kitty. Pretty strong now. <laughs> Where's Kitty? I haven't even spoke to her for a while now. I know she's probably asleep. By the way, when I first started this uh, <laughs> stream, I had two thousand nine hundred and uh, two <laughs> subscribers. Now I have two thousand nine hundred thirty-six subscribers. So I basically gained thirty-four subscribers since I started the stream. 
I don't know when cares, but hey, that's pretty cool. I'm I'm on my way to three thousand, oh, which is really cool. Yeah, man. Um, let me see if I could go ahead and find that uh, audio clip. Mm, I think well, that's it's in right. Jimmer, right. It's either in King of All Social Media or Jimmer Nation. Let me see. Uh, what was I looking Please for? Please come again. McGregor will fight Nate Diaz next. Can't wait. Thanks for covering my boy Curry. McGregor will fight Nate Diaz next. Can't wait. Thanks for covering my boy Curry. Hey, you're welcome. There you go with the Curry little animation on the screen. Uh, McGregor is going to be fighting uh, Khabib. Um, That's tomorrow. UFC 229 in October. I believe it's October 6th. Is everybody fighting tomorrow? So, yeah, that's it, man. What was that again? Everybody fighting tomorrow? Fighting tomorrow? No, they had a, a big fight last week. Ah. Weekend. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Let me see if I could find the uh, clip of that dummy. Because he's he is listening. <laughs> he's just... He got embarrassed last week. Or l- yesterday yeah. when I um, put him in his place. I'm talking about Mark Lista. Yeah, I was. And Cosmic Cam. That guy, <laughs> that guy was so uh, upset because <laughs> he knew he made a fool out of himself. And then. Came for bowling with Hachi. I mean, good lord, that guy. I won't even play the uh, replay. Somebody put, you know, my own troll actually made a videotape out of him. Not a videotape, but a YouTube video. And uh, basically trolled him and said he, he got fucked over. And you did get fucked over, bro. And I'm a nobody. The fact that you get fucked over by a nobody, that's not good news, bro. I don't know what you're going to do, Cosmic Cam. What are you going to do, bro? Well, you know, at least no one can call you a house story now. How come you're still awake, Kenny? Oh, no, I got to go sleep soon. Yeah. yeah. But if you're, you know, right at the time you are, uh, Howard Stern, there, you're doing something brand new. Wait, what was that? Right at the time you're not there anymore. Man, you're cutting in and out, brah. I said, on Reddit, they can play the Howard Stern shit anymore. On Reddit, they could play Howard Stern shit? No, they can't call you a Howard Stern imitator anymore. Okay. I didn't know what you said, but all right. Yeah. Oh, I found it, bro. You want to hear it? Okay. Mark, so, no, you know, Mark, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter though. Like, hold what on happened with Car- uh, Tara and Kitty? Okay, so it doesn't matter though because people seem to easily forget what other people say. Um, but I like to remind that everybody uh, what happened. But anyhow, here it is. Uh, you want to talk to a troll? Here you go. Okay. Can you can you not hang up so we can talk to you, please? No. Yeah. Oh, why'd you gotta hang up? Why you gotta hang up, bruh? I just told you not to hang up. You hung up. Interrupted, then hang up. Interrupted, we talked to them. All right, here we go. Please don't hang up, dude, so we could talk to you. Don't hang up. Just stay there. Can you talk to us? Or are you pussy? (laughs) Are you a pussy or are you gonna hang up? All right, fuck him. <laughs> Come on, guys. Seriously, dude. Hello? Like, say something, man. Come on. <sighs> oh, what's the point of calling and then hanging up, dude? I mean, you, you call. I mean, oh, you got us. Oh, my God. We can't stand. Okay, here we go. Please don't hang up. 
Can you talk to us? Come on, dude. Talk to us, bro. Don't be shy. Well. Come on, Office talk to us, to... bro. You're still on. Talk to us. Oh, well. oh fuck you. Oh, okay. You don't want to talk to us, I guess. Pussy. pussy. <laughs> you pussy. Yeah. He's still on the phone. You pussy. You don't want to talk to us anymore? What are they into? Oh, there's another guy who keeps calling one time and then he hangs up and he's laughing. He's like, oh, I got him. Oh, I called him one time and then I hung up. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> Shut the I'm, fuck up. I used to call all the time. I have stuff to say. Even if I hate you today, I call and I tell you about it. Talk to you. All right, whatever you said, bro. Ah, there's the guy who keeps calling in one ring and he's done. What? Dial the number if you're just going to ring and hang up. Come on, dude. Keep doing it. It's so stupid. It's a waste of time. It's not a waste of time. It's just, uh, dude, you got no balls or something? You don't want to talk to me face to face for some reason? You have... If I was a troll and I hate you, I would... It's very rare that I pick up and uh, talk to people. Right. Go ahead. Come on. Are you a pussy? You gonna hang up? You're a man. Are I you a real a man or are you a pussy? Hello? I see you on the phone. You've been on for 15 seconds now. What happened to you? You're still there. 20 seconds. And nothing, of course. Because yeah, I put you to school. Worse than Hollywood. Uh, is it Join my Discord, which will be deleted tonight. All right, it's been great talking to you. I got like stuff. All right, peace. Peace and love. Peace right. and love, Kenny. Peace and love. Love you, Jimmy. All right, bye. <gasps> I guess the trolls are gonna call in. That sucks, dude. Oh, okay. Do you have the balls to talk to me or no? The balls or no, bro? What? You have balls? Do you want to talk to me? Yes. Are you, are you gonna hang up like a pussy? No. All right, go ahead. We all clear? Hurry up, dude. So pussy. you left YouTube on top. Why are you still on YouTube then, huh? Huh? What? You are you jealous? YouTube on top, you said. Yeah. Are you jealous? I, I left on How top of all the shit that? shows, you idiot. I left on top of all the shit shows that you probably watch because you're a loser. For some reason, you're a loser that stays home and watches all these shit shows. Yeah, I know. I'm not a loser, but you I, are. I you're the loser that, that watches all the shit shows. The loser too, then, huh? You waste your time watching a lispy YouTuber talking about Opie and Anthony oh, and fucking Jim and Sam. Loser, guess, yeah, Sam, little huh? cunt. Sam Hill and Trap and all them are losers, huh? What? All of your viewers are losers, I guess, right? No, just you. Well, only me. Yeah, because Only me if I watch, huh? All right, so what's your okay. problem? What, do you butt hurt now about something? You want to talk to me? No, I mean, uh, you told everyone to call in, so hey, I'm calling in. What's up, dude? All right, what so you what's your doing? question? You can't what, do what, shit what, about nothing. All right, You're so always what do you... sorry now because everybody hates you. No, I don't give a fuck. Back before you found out everybody hated you, you were not sorry. And then one day no, you realized it. Don't give a fuck, bro. you were crying for two hours. Don't give a now fuck. Now you're sorry. Hey, did you hear me? I said I don't give a fuck. I don't give two fucks about anybody, how they feel. How about that? Okay, so you're not sorry then. I'm not sorry, yeah. Not to you. Are you or are you, or are you not sorry? 
dude can you go get a life bro outside of youtube and whatever periscope whatever where whatever platform you use god forbid it's no, twitch me. Uh, no me and none of your viewers have a life so that's just how it is that's why we're okay watching. so what do you want to talk you don't about have a life we don't you're have the one life. that doesn't have, have life. life. You're the one that Nobody keeps begging me. Are you are you begging me for something? What do you want? No. Why would you think I'm? I'm want me to talk you. about mud wrestling? What the fuck do you want from me, bro? Wrestling? No, I ain't gay. Well, you kind of sound it, bro. No, I, I mean I'm just calling in. You know, I mean, are you invited everybody to call in and talk? And Okay, oh, so get dummy. your fix. Go get your fix from a Slurin's Entertainment. Have you ever heard of him? He's not he on loves, right now. Or I he, would. He loves talking he about Opie on, and Anthony and Jim and I Sam sure that would. nobody cares about. He's my hero. <laughs> I'm sure he is. <laughs> he owns you every day, every night. Okay, Jeff. Hey, so you had uh, 60,000 viewers the past 48 hours, right? Uh, but you showed that to us? Are you sure it was? I don't know. 000? You're my whore. You should know. Or is that a default uh, goal that you two uh, puts up there? We could barely understand what you're saying. Actually, no, it's sixty. It's... Everybody, everybody that has called you tonight was loud and clear. Stop making excuses. Unfortunately, you're not. Um, you sound no, weird. You're lying. Ask, Maybe ask it's your accent. Ask if they understand me fine. Or if you're just putting up a front, you know, uh, because you suck. Man, you're really butthurt, huh? Let me help you out. Let me massage your uh, little ego. I'm not ego. butthurt about anything, man. You, uh, you're so uh, you butthurt. Oh, my God. You're so butthurt. I mean, you're so I'm butthurt, not, I'm not, boy. I'm not your cam girls. I'm not saying, see, I'm not on bleach, so you never did anything to no, me. No, you're pretty butthurt, you know? bro. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Let me massage your little tiny ego. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm butthurt. But about you what? Are I forgot. Will you remind me? Uh, dude, don't you have farm what am duties? About? You don't have farm I duties? Forgot. Don't you have huh? to clean the field or something like that? What's that? Don't you have to go feed no. the cows? I mean, what do you have to do? No. You sure? Uh, no, me and Tara did that earlier. You and Tara did that earlier? Yeah, isn't she a hick, right? I'll, I'll make that what she said. She's a hick. And I uh, am too, whatever, apparently. Whatever you say. Or... Dude, or was that all, all a lie? You're actually... Oh, well, you apologize for calling her a hick. But will you apologize to me? <sighs> Why don't you just reveal your uh, real name if you're not a pussy? Why? Okay, Why? so you are a pussy. You're a pussy. I'm not on the air. I'm not. I'm no, not, you're on, not the air. on the air. But you're calling uh, dude, in you're like a, a dummy. Caller. Yeah, I'm just a caller. So, so what's your name? Everybody. So what's everybody your name? That... What's your name, uh -huh. dum dum? Uh huh. I got a new subscriber. Are you are you, you upset? His name's Armando oh, Gonzalez. Oh, you he's better than you are. Four subscribers for me. Uh, because oh, please tell them to unsubscribe. You. I don't want them anymore. Oh, I I banned you. Good, good. Can uh, I un can times. I ban yeah. all your other idiots? And so that probably happened to about three hundred other people. So I yay! Would say about I'm so happy. Yay, from, baby. Are from other people. And I'm doing uh, way better three, now. Four, I'm doing five. way better now. So oh, my God. What Satan is doing? Satan is not even uh, half of what I'm doing. He has like 1,300 subs. <laughs> that's, that's pathetic. Oh, and he'll never get monetized. Right. Guess why he'll never get yeah. monetized? Guess why? Yeah. Guess why? Yeah, Guess why? Home, Guess I mean, why, you idiot? Hey, hey, tractor, boy. Right tractor, you know, tractor boy. Tractor boy. Hey, he Tractor Boy. Than you, huh? dude. He has multiple channels exactly like you do. He's got multiple. Th oh, really? Okay, well, yeah. keep on following him. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, dude. Look the guy's not right even. The guy's right not right even now. monetized, bro. News? The guy's not even monetized. He'll never be monetized. I'll tell you why, but okay. you're too stupid to realize it. I don't care. What the hell do I care if he's monetized or not? Yeah, I mean, by your accent, it, it sounds like you don't care. I mean. 
Yeah, I don't care. I know you don't. You don't care about a whole lot of things in your life. You probably don't care about your own mom. No, I care about your mom. Oh. Hey, don't talk about your sister like that. That's wrong. You want to fuck my sister now? Hey, don't talk. Yeah. She's about yeah, yeah. four. She's about four hundred pounds. Are you? Are can you do that or no? Are you good with that? Oh, I love, I love big fatties. You know. I'm sure you do. I oh, mean, your like gra you. your mom and grandma are both fat. Like who that, was the so. last chick you fucked? I forgot. Uh, probably your aunt. Aunt Helen. Are you sure? Uh, aunt yeah, Helen. because uh, she had a cock actually. That's a good one. You're fucking funny, dude. You got some wit on you, boy. You are going places. I can feel it. Is this Michael Sachs Jr.? Yes. You idiot. I know it's not Michael Sachs, by the way. Michael Sachs is actually smarter than you. He's actually, uh, he has a brain. What is that supposed to mean? It means you're dumb. <laughs> he's I know that's hard me, so, uh, to comprehend. Dumb, is that what you're saying? What was that, Richard? Richard. Yeah, Richard Christie. I do not know who that is. You're my favorite, Richard Christie. It hey, doesn't Richard. Doesn't matter who I am. I'm a caller. You ask people to call in. That's, That's right, Richard. And Why I just are you called you. About my name. You're Richard Christie. So you hey, can Christie. Me too? Hey, Richard. How's them squirrels, <laughs> Richard Christie? Uh, so you want to dox me too, so you can apologize to me in four months? <laughs> oh, your name's Richard Christie. Holy shit, man. Yeah. Hey, Richard Christie. Yeah, I'm Richard Christie. It's uh, your dad, bub. Uh, so are you going to dox me and then apologize in four months? Yes. Hey, bub. Dad loves you, bub. Ta uh, let's go to Tico, uh, Taco Tico, bruh. It's Richard Christie. What the hell is Taco Tico? I don't know, but they've been closed for about a month. It's Richard Why are you making fun Christ. of country people? Why are you making fun of me and Sarah? Oh, you're making fun of me. Oh, it's Richard Christie, hey? Right? Is that all you got? Ah, I got hey, a so, dead uh, squirrel. How much money uh, have you made off of YouTube so far? Found a dead raccoon on the street. Oh, uh, your NBA shit is on the yeah, booming, right? How much money you made so far? How much, hey, what's NBA uh, how much stand for? How much money have you spent your kids so far? I, hey, I bet you're so We're dumb you don't even know what NBA stands Everybody for. Everybody that's watching you right now wants to know how much money you have spent your kids so far. Hey, I, you're so dumb, you probably Answer. don't even know what NBA is. <laughs> Answer. You don't Answer. know. <laughs> Answer. Everybody that's watching me right now wants to know how much money you have sent your kids. Answer. Where do my kids live? What? Are you stupid? Answer. How much money have you sent your kids? Answer my question. Everybody Where do, watching me right now. I'll... Where do my kids oh. live, you fucktard? Where do they live? What? Tell me where they live, Richard. I don't know. I don't care. What the hell do I care? All right. So then, I'm, I guess I'm you don't know jack shit. Kind of stuff like you are. I don't, I don't care yes, where you live. you don't know jack shit, That's Richard no Christie. Hey, bub. Hey, bub. How's it going there? Is that? No business. Everybody Dad's watching you right now wants to know how much money you have sent your kids. Answer. I don't know, Richard Christie. You don't know. How much, bud? I guess that's none. How many gift certificates for Taco Tico did you have? How many Taco Ticos did you have, eh? Three. Now you answer. How many Taco Ticos, Richard? Hey, bud. How? Much I like Halloween. Do you like Halloween? You're not even answering, and you can lie. You can say I, I sent uh, them eight thousand this year. That's I sent them Halloween. I just told you. I sent them Halloween. It's my favorite. Oh, yeah? It's my favorite. Why are you making fun of me and Sarah? <laughs> That's dude, you right. sound dude, Pastor, you're sounding like, like a, you and her sort of I'm trying to help Andy you, bro. Texas. I am so trying to help you, but you sound more and more now like a retard. Talking shit about me and her. Uh, I'm talking shit about who are you, bro? 
You you won't even say your real name. I am me. That's who I am. I am me. I am the squirrel that my dad caught on the road. Roadkill. I'm. Yeah. You're my favorite. Hey. Hey, I love Lispy. I, I love Lispy YouTube. Yes, that's right. I love uh, Lispy YouTubers. Uh, yeah, Hey, what? how come you love Lispy YouTubers? Oh, I love Lispy like, YouTubers that talk about Opie and Anthony. I love you Lispy YouTubers that talk about Opie and Anthony. And uh, Jim and Sam who talk about me all the no, time. No, 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 no. Uh, he talks about I get you my now. kicks out of that. <laughs> he mainly talks about you now, that's why I watch. Yeah, it talked it's about me, because I, mean, I am so gay for about, Jimmernam. I uh, fucking get a boner uh, each time he talks about Jimmernam. I talk about Jimmernam about Jim all, Jim all the time. In his Discord. Oh, that's nice. He talks about Discord. Uh, can you spell Discord? Can you spell it? P-E-R-S-S. One, three. Oh, that's pretty good, dude. Hey, what's uh, six times eight? Go. Go. Uh, I don't know. You don't know six times eight. You don't know six times eight. What's eight you times six? six times eight. What's eight times six? Uh, 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 three? Yeah, it is three. Damn, you got I me, bro. You first, you didn't answer, so I'm not answering. Okay, I don't know six times eight, but what? I know eight times six, though. Uh, what's eight times six? Go ahead. I asked you first, six times eight, go. <laughs> no, I don't know six times eight, but can you tell me what eight times six is? Yeah, 48. No, you're wrong, bro. Are you sure? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He, he thinks it's 48, guys. <laughs> you don't know six times eight or six times seven. How about that? And you're 40. And you don't know your arithmetic. Farty. I'm farting with 400 views. When's the last time uh, Saiyan's Entertainment had 400 views? <laughs> Never. I don't know. I don't care. Why do I care about Saiyan? I don't know. On, he's man. your boyfriend. He's We're your boyfriend. You. Oh, yeah. He's my boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, he's your boyfriend. Uh, uh, Where'd you get that from? From the 12 year old? He's your roadkill. Oh my God! You want me to hook you up with Darius? I'll, I'll I'll hook you up if you want that shit. I mean, you go no, to jail. You'd probably go to jail, to but hey, mom. man, if that's your thing, hey, what's up, bro? He'll put you to school. He's I smarter you than you are. Mom so we can make another winner named he, Jimmer. You know he's smarter than you, right? Hey, Richard. Hey, hey Richard. Hey, what's don't talk last? About your sister like that. Hey, Richard. Why are you talking about your sister like that? Oh, back she to my sister. You man. love 400-pound women, don't you? And you talk about your sister like that? Oh, my God. You love 400-pound women. Holy shit. Are you going to apologize to her? Who? Apologize to her. Your sister for calling her retarded. Your sister? She pays your phone bill and you call her retarded? Come on. Your sister's retarded? She's that helping, uh, she's helping you out in life. Hey, I'm sorry I made fun of you, oh, dude. I didn't know you should... Hey, bro, I didn't know your sister was retarded. I'm sorry. I didn't know that. No, that's all right, buddy. I forgive you. I mean, I does she you, sound bro. like you? I mean, if she sounds like you, she's so, more than uh, retarded. Uh, did you ever get a trash can yet, or are you still saving up your YouTube fortune for that? Uh, we can't hear you, because uh, I guess you didn't pay your phone bill. I think you're lying. I think you're a big, fat liar. Hey, don't talk about your grandma. Oh, shit. Damn. You're right, you're right, but you're right. Hey, Richard, you're my favorite. I forgot uh, how much money have you sent your kids? I forgot. Hey, how come I have more viewers than a uh, lispy YouTuber? Because we like to watch the train wreck, that's why. Like your grandma? Yeah. yeah. Ew, oh, your no, grandma you sucks, me, bro. <laughs> you fucking got me, man. That's a good one. That was fucking top notch right there. You're fucking mm -hmm. good, dude. Shit. You're right. 
Man, you're fucking funny, man. Thank you. Shit. Fucking got me good, man. Fuck. Awesome. Woo. So anyway, so how much money have you sent your kids? I forgot. Um, everybody in chat is asking, too. How much money? When's the next, uh, when's the next cow tippy? Why don't you answer me? I thought, I thought that's what we did. You know, we call in, we ask questions. I mean, you could say none of your business, or you can give me the truth, you can give me a lie, but you won't even answer. Uh, probably you more money that you've ever made in your uh, 50 years of life. Why don't you acknowledge life? the question? I just told you the truth. Probably more money that you've ever made in your 55 years of living. Oh, yeah. That? Oh, yeah. Because uh, you sound really old. Oh, you're wrong. I'm about well, your age. Then you probably have to go I'll see a doctor. Go see a voice doctor, a throat doctor. Uh, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're lying. You're making up shit again. Fake news. Fake news. I don't know, dude. I just called you out. I mean, how much money do you make? I mean, uh, for the past 55 years, because that's how much I spent. The past 65 years? That's yeah, 65. About. 65. I probably made more money this year than you have in the past five years. Well, that's how much money I spent. You want to know the truth? I just told you. Squirrel boy. Squirrel boy. How's that cow tipping, bruh? I miss Fort Campbell, Kentucky. That's why I used to... I'm too old for that, remember? Yeah, you sound like I'm, it. I'm too old to do that You shit. sound really old. You sound like you're yeah, uh, on a tractor right now. What, what are you doing right now, bro? Why are you driving? What, you're, you're trying to avoid your ugly wife? So where are you moving to in a few months, you were saying? I don't know, but are you trying to I'm avoid earlier. your ugly wife right now, dude? You're on the road. I can hear you. You're on the road. You were Why? saying you were How many drinks did you have? In a better place. Where is that? Dude, uh, it's not cool. You off and you know, probably oh, where you live, it doesn't that? matter that you're drunk and driving because no one's on the street, no one's on the yeah, road, I am. except yourself. I am. I am what? Drunk I am driving. four? What the fuck you gonna do about it? You ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> Man, you're so dumb. So, uh, what really you're happening... You're I'm too to easy to happened. toy with. You're such an easy toy. Why did your wife leave you and the kids to move across the country? Because she wanted to be with what the hillbilly. She wanted to be with your ass, a hillbilly that has no life and listens to lispy YouTubers all day. Well, yeah. that's my problem. That's our problem. Yeah, Good I got comeback. no life. Uh, how's your life going? Oh, you got a great life, don't you? Good comeback, bro. Wonderful. Good comeback. I know. No, you, you have, don't know. Oh, you have the greatest life out of everybody watching you, right? I was being facetious, bro. Everybody's yeah. watching you. We love you. We can't get enough of you. I know. That's why you, you suck my a balls. Great life. I know. That's why you, you suck my balls all day. You were on top of the world. No, I actually wasn't. But you're on top go of ahead. the world, right? No, uh, you are compa now. I compared thought. to the shit that you watch, yes. Mm -hmm. I You're watch everybody. Ass. I don't have a life. Dude, I wish I could see your face. What's your Facebook name? I want to see your fucking face. You're such a pussy. Girl. Dude, you're such a pussy. Oh my god, you're a pussy. You're the biggest pussy ever. I know. I know. We, we hear it. <laughs> I mean... God damn, dude. Holy shit. That's a good one. I'm a pussy. Oh shit, you fucking got me, dude. Dude, me you're, dude your daughter has bigger balls than you do. You get me, man. I'm... Fuck. What the fuck am I gonna do? I'm gonna need the... Do you have daughters? I, I hope you don't. Uh... Yeah, it sounds yeah, like you one. do. Oh my god, that sucks. She hates you. I know, I know, I know. She thinks you're I disgusting, know. bro. Yeah, but uh, she no, fucking no, hates there is my no ducks, but. but. She hates she loves you me more than your kids love you, though. No, your daughter fucking hates you. She she wishes you would leave her mom. Oh, by the way, when was the last time you seen your kids? Hey, your your daughter wishes 
Why don't oh you answer God. anything I ask you? She at, she when told me. Why is that? Is that that part of a question? Is that uh, that private of a question? You can't say the last time you seen your kids. You want to fuck my uh, children? Is that what you want? You love nine and twelve year old boys? Oh my you God! You're them? offering people to fuck your kids. What Ew, the fuck, you're gross, dude? bro. Oh, you're disgusting. You have a daughter. You're Why would you do that? You're offering people to fuck your kids. Oh, you're gross, bro. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> you want to fuck them or something? I mean, you're so Holy interested shit. in my kids. You're so oh interested my in my children. I gotta go. I gotta go cow tipping at four a.m. in the morning. And when's the cow tipping party starting? Four a.m. Hey, don't talk about your sister like that. That's not cool, bro. That's your sister. She pays your phone bill for the past five years. The fuck, dude? You know you're embarrassing on, yourself, man. right? She's your sister. Man, you're embarrassing, bro. So, uh, uh, what oh, else, no. what else, what else? oh, do you still have your car, your Toyota Corolla? Uh, what was that, Boss Hog? Or did I get repossessed? Uh, Boss Hog, what was that? Oh, or was that a private question, too? Do you still have your car? Say that, that again, Boss Hog. Too? Couldn't hear you, Boss Hog. Okay. Yeah, you did. You're lying again. Hey, Boss Hog, what did you say you're cutting out? Is this how you win an argument? You say, what'd you say? What'd you say? I have no idea what you're saying, bro. That's how you win? Why don't you come into Discord? Let me let me show... Because I could get your IP address. Come into Discord, you little pussy. Exactly. Ah, uh, you're a pussy. I thought... I thought so. Yeah. You're a pussy. You're a fucking pussy, you little cunt. I'm... I'm not giving the king of all doctors my IP address. Uh, by the way, I have your number. What the fuck would I do that for? Hey, dummy. I have oh, your yeah, number. I you know what I have your it? number, right? <laughs> I have your phone number, you idiot. Even though you you called in as an unknown caller, I have it. You idiot. It's already okay, out there. It, Don't worry about it. You're gonna get calls every fucking day, bro. Unlike unlike your yeah, wife. So. Unlike your I'll ugly wife. <laughs> unlike your ugly wife, uh, you're gonna actually get some phone calls every fucking day. Hey, don't talk about your sister like that. Don't talk you about your daughter ugly. like that. Your daughter I mean, hates I know you. She's aging, but she's not that ugly. Don't talk about your daughter. That's not cool. Hey, don't talk about your kids like that. I know. Don't talk about your daughter, bro. Hey, you're gay. I got you, but I got you. You're gay. <laughs> you're fucking gay, dude. I fucking got you, man. <laughs> you're fucking gay, dude. You're fucking gay. Hey, that mm -hmm. uh, CEO. A fight earlier, I thought, I thought he won that one. Cool. He had the upper hand. Never heard of him. Oh, I know. Idiot. How are you so forgetful? Like, like your brain aneurysm is um, it fucked up your memory or what? Uh, pretty much. When I fucked your wife that one time, I, I got a uh, my my brain exploded. So yeah, that was fucked up. That's a good one, dude. That's a good one. Oh, that's, that's a good, good one, bro. Did you get that one from your 12-year-old uh, fanboy? Hey, bro, keep talking, because you're an idiot. Hey, don't talk about your mom like that. Keep talking. I got you. <laughs> I got you. I got you. You got to admit it. Right now, admit it. I got you. <laughs> So, what is everybody um, in your chat doing? All the losers uh, that you call uh, losers for watching you every night. Uh, what are they? Uh, what are they typing about? Oh yeah. I guess nothing. Oh okay. So that's how you win the argument. You play the silent game. How childish. Why don't you be a man and fight with me? Huh? Why don't you be a man? Be a man, Jim, or say something. Be a man. You're not a man. Oh, 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 oh you're not a man. You're not a man. You're gay. Oh, oh, oh I'll fuck your mom. <laughs> I'll fuck your wife. <laughs> Jim.
Jimmer's not a man. He won't. He's playing a silent game. He's not a man. He's not a man. He wishes for a trash can on his Amazon wish list. That's on his wish list. A fucking trash can. He wishes for a trash can. Hopefully one day he will get it, but I doubt it. I mean, shit, dude. Uh, that's been on your wish list for it. Uh, how long now? About three months? And nobody will even fucking buy you a trash can? <laughs> you got some great fans, don't you? Fucking fans won't even, uh, won't even buy you the necessities in life. A trash can. I mean, I've seen some cheaper ones for $13. I mean, fuck me. You go to Walmart right now and get one for like $3 probably. <laughs> you idiot. $3. You're still talking. Oh my god, you're still here? Holy shit. <laughs> I thought you would leave. <laughs> oh, you Dummy. are? Oh, you're still here? I thought you quit YouTube. What the fuck happened, dude? No, I, I mean, took a piss and a shit. Uh, hell, dude, you you're quit still here. YouTube every damn night. I'm glad you're still here because I was taking mind, a piss. Dude, you're fucking 40. You need to make a decision and stick to it. Cool. I mean, shit, dude, you sound like a, a like nice. a 15 year old kid, you know, that fucking changes his mind every day. I thought I thought the bar. I thought Dude, you sound retarded, bro. Are you quitting YouTube or not? You want it to nothing, huh? I yeah, thought that's what we did. Call in, ask questions, and you answer. But I mean, when I was this a call-in uh, question show? It says huh? chill live stream baller cast. You don't Why? know. You only- the only balls you know are the ones you suck every night. That's a good one, dude. Fuck. You got me. Oh, that's a good one. Is there any that's Troy good. Smith? That's good, dude. That's good. That's a good one. Uh, Drive- dude, are you gonna run out of gas? Oh, fuck no, dude. I, I go all fucking night. I mean... I'm talking to Jimmer now, dude. I'm going all night, man. This is the fucking dream come true. I know. I'm your king. I'm talking, I'm talking you know, to the man that went out. I am your king, bruh. I am your fucking king. Uh, he made, I don't know. Oh, I'm so tired now. Last month. Oh, what? He's the king of YouTube. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is another tactic, what you do. Oh, you're so boring. Oh, 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 you're boring. You're boring, dude. Actually, you're not boring. You're an idiot. But, go ahead. You're boring. I, th I think you're boring first, or I win. Bam. I got you. You got me. That's why you're listening, but go ahead. I know I'm a loser, man. Uh, just like everybody in your chat and everybody that's watching. No, you no, no, no. Let me right? get something straight. You're not a loser, Am I right? bro. You, no, you're not a loser. You're just uneducated. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, everybody says that school. Um, you might want to restart. Oh, like these days, you know, it don't do anybody good anymore. So, uh, I mean, uh, so that's the consequences, you know, for the. Uh, the rich people saying that. Uh, what? Uh, nobody goes to school anymore, so... Everyone's so, sleeping now. I Thanks know you a lot. I you went to school and got your degree. How's that, uh, how's that degree working out for you? It's working fine. I mean, it's working right in your uh, wife's pussy. So you need to go to college to become a YouTuber? But why does your wife's pussy smell so bad? I don't really get it. Well, whatever. Because you fucked her. Remember? Yeah, that's pretty gross. You bro. fucked her. Well, because I came inside her, huh? I mean, how many times do I have to come in her? You fucked her. You fucked yeah. that fucking thing, pussy. Ew, your wife is gross. I came in her so many times. It's so gross. She she, she needs to wash that shit out, bro. I know, dude. I saw the video. I know. I fucking jack off to it every night. You probably do, because you're a cuck. Yeah, and you fuck like Gene Simmons. It was fucking great. Never heard of that reference. Wow, you're really old. Never heard of him. Well, or her. Well, I guess you never seen his sex tapes. Yeah, no one. I has. don't think you know anything, dude. I mean, I don't not think you know not from about your anything. fucking era. 
Uh, Never heard of anything in the uh, 1960s or whatever. Where, whenever you're born, sir. Six times six, go. I was born in '79. Wow, you '79. I'm an old man. 1879. Yeah, how'd you know? I don't know you. I was born in 1879. I'm the world's oldest living man. You're the dumbest man. How do you dox me on the fly like that, man? You're fucking good. Oh, yeah, man. You're the king of all dogs. You're the king of all dummies. Uh, so going back, uh, uh, how much money have you sent your kids so far? I, I gotta forgot. think again. Oh, I, gotta, I forgot in chat. I, I gotta ask the same how questions I did two hours ago. <laughs> yeah, because you won't answer the fucking questions from two hours ago. I just answer told you. I just fucking I told you. you uh, dude, anymore. hey, bitch, I just told you. I just fucking told you. The 65 years that you've been living, that's how much money I spent. Hey, Jim, I wonder why Nick Diaz isn't fighting at all anymore. Only his brother, Nate. What do you think? Um. I'll let you answer him. Go ahead. Yeah, I think Nick Diaz, uh, he had some problems with the UFC and stuff like that. I'm not sure if he's going to be ever, uh, coming back, but Nate Diaz is fighting. He's fighting, uh, I forgot the guy's name, but, uh, he'll be fighting soon. Portier, I think. Yeah. But this, this faggot right here on the phone doesn't know because he's a gay lord. No, I don't. Yeah, I'm fucking stupid. I um, I don't know much about the UFC. I'm fucking Well, because you are stupid. I mean, everybody understands you're dumb, and we're treating you worse than we would treat Kenny. Because you're probably super autistic. So, yeah, super that's autistic, how we're treating yeah. you. Uh, just like Kenny. Um, isn't that what you say? Uh, Kenny's autistic, or, or did you say I'm sorry about that? No, uh, Kenny compared to you. Uh, Kenny is Albert Einstein compared to you. Also, what does that mean? Uh, uh, that Kenny, sorry, I can't explain that because you're retarded, so I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm retarded, dude. Like, Wendy Fuck. knows more than you do about life, hey. but it's all good. Hey, but that's not my fault, though. It's not my fault that I'm retarded. I know. Your mom dropped why, you on, on your head why are when you you're a baby. Why are you other people's ailments? I mean, hell, you got somebody that... Well, it's pretty clear, I mean... Well, you know how to call in and hurt. talk for about 35 minutes. So... Dummy. Alright, so why don't you go to bed, bro? Uh, why don't you go to bed? You're, you're, you're... You didn't accomplish anything with this call. You've been on for 35 minutes, you did nothing. Zero. Nothing. You suck. Everyone hates you. I did accomplish something, man. I'm your fucking biggest fan. Uh, please unsubscribe you know, right away. Do you I know how to unsubscribe? You for, uh, uh, can you, you unsubscribe? Three or four times. Can you unsubscribe? One thing in it. I never uh, said one thing in your Discord. In, the, in my Discord. What are you, a fucking chick? What are you, a little uh, sixth grade girl? You banned me from Discord. From the, 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 yeah, I'm a sixth grade girl. Dude, yeah, you're such I mean, a bitch. You know, Dude, go I take care of your daughter. Dude, take care of your daughter. Take care of the four cows that you have. And take care of that ugly uh, wife. Okay? Stop no. worrying about YouTube, bro. Why don't you take care of your kids? Stop. You take care of your daughter, bro, who hates you. If it ain't. Why does the she daughter, hate you? The daughter that hates you. The daughter that the wishes cattle. you would divorce her, uh, your, your mom, the mommy. She wants you to divorce the wife, your wife. Why? What did I do? I don't know. Ask her. She I hates your guts, bro. I? Every time you come home, she's uh, she's fucking uh, hiding in the closet. Why? Ask your daughter, she dude. She hates your that. guts, bro. Every time you come home, she she hates listening to your fucking voice. You got a, a weird voice. 
And, and you're fucking you retarded as fuck. You're worse than fucking Wendy the retard or Gary the Conqueror. You are fucking so one. dumb. You are so autistic. You're worse than Kenny TV. Actually, we should do a 24 7 so feed about you and, and just put Ask the camera on you and dog. see it's how much you time you're. Me. We got to see how many times your, your daughter begs us to get rid of you. That's a good show. But I thought you fucked my daughter, no? No, I don't. I don't. I don't fuck your daughter, bro. You may have, cause you're oh, a fucking dude. weirdo. Oh dude, yeah. Dude, oh oh yeah, my yeah. god, you fucked your daughter. Oh, you offered me to Holy. Fuck your kids. That's what happened. You offered me to. Fuck oh your my kids. god, ladies and gentlemen. That's what happened. Ladies and gentlemen, this sixty-year-old man just fucked his daughter, who's probably how old's your daughter? This is like Jerry Springer right now. I'm 60, Holy shit. I'm sixty. She's forty-three. I'm seventeen years. Oh, her. so you fucked your daughter and you're proud of it. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Oh Oh my god. This is really well, bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't I can't believe you kids. just admitted to that. Oh My god now I have to release your phone number to the the, the local authority. Holy shit. Oh. Yeah, I know I need I need help. Will you please do that for me, please? I mean, I'm too chicken, you know to turn myself in but will Dude. you do it for me, please? Why did you fuck your daughter, bro? That, oh my god. Hey, man. Hey, you know what wow. they say? No, I don't. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. A hole is a hole. You know, a pussy's pussy. A hole is a hole. That's your answer. I right made there. that pussy. I, oh, I created that's... it, so I do what I want with it. Wow, you're disgusting, bro. You just lost everybody. They're all on your side uh, all of a sudden, but then you said a hole is a hole. Pussy's pussy. Oh, no, I was pussy. just playing, everybody. I, no, I was just playing. Will you be on my side again, too please? Late. Please, I was just playing. It was a joke. Yeah, I think, dude, this is criminal. Is it too man. late? I don't is know. It too the, late? the FBI's here. Shit, the FBI's on me? Are you lying? That that was really strange, bro. It it, it turned weird. We were having fun, and then all of a sudden, you said that. That's you got problems. I'm sorry. Sorry to hear that. Are you April Fools in me right now? I am living on the moon. A hole is a hole. That. I'm sorry, sir. I mean, that is... Man, that's weird. That is so bad. Hey, don't talk about your sister like that. What's wrong with you, man? I don't know. She you talked your about... your phone bill. Your phone... Uh, uh, how much is that bill anyway? Dude, that... It's weird that you talked about your daughter like that. That's... I, I don't know what to say. Man, dude, you're getting handouts from every... All over the place, man. You're getting it from SSI, from your viewers, from your sister. She's paying your phone bill. Where else are you getting handouts from? Uh, a hole is else? a hole. Wow. That might be it. I mean, it's just three places, but shit, I wish I, I had that. Dude, why did you say that? A hole is a hole? You, you talk about your daughter like that? That's. Are you okay, bro? Are you alright? She has a big, juicy hole, too. She I love a... lapping it up. Wow. Talk about your daughter. Yeah, my daughter. That's, okay. Hey, well, wow. I created her, so I do what I want with her. So you created her, and, and you, you can do, do whatever shit you want. About it. No, I'm being real. I mean, you created your daughter, so that's the hole that belongs to you. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. 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 Okay. Wow. Hey, it happened. No, yeah. no, I, I no. We don't know it happens, but you're saying some weird stuff right now. That's very, very, very troubling, to say the least. I know, I know. Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. So basically, a hole yeah. is a hole, and you created that hole, so you have the rights to that hole. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yes. I said it's fair, right? 
Okay. I mean, you know, you created your kids and you and you left them and won't give them any money, so it's the same thing, ain't it? So you created your daughter's hole by fucking your wife, and now that hole belongs to you, so you stick your dick in her hole. Is what you're saying. Your daughter's hole. Why are mine. you talking about your sister like that? Is that what you're saying, sir, right now? Why are you talking about your sister like that? Just, just answer the question, please. Because you already no, answered it. No, you haven't answered one question I asked you. Oh. You asked me that exact sir, same question about four you, times and I answered Sir, it. you just said a hole is a hole. You created your daughter's hole and it a belongs hole is a to hole you. A hole is a hole. Okay, that's what I thought it was. Okay. Yep. I mean, if I had a daughter, it would happen. <laughs> so anyways, uh, how much money have you sent your kids for child support? We're all dying to know. Come on. How many, bud? How much money? How much money? We're all dying to know. Jimmer, wake up. Wake up, Jimmer. Hey, I'll sing you. Would you like me to sing to you? I mean, I know you're feeling lonely. I guess Jimmer gave up. He's not a man. Jimmer's not a man. He's playing a silent game. Jimmer's not a man. I guess I win this round since he had to play the, uh, the silent game. Jimmer's not a man. He lives alone, no trash can, full of roaches, left his wife, left his kids, and said, I want to be a YouTube star. Y'all are holding me back, so I'm leaving you. And that's it. And he won't answer any question I ask him. Not one. Why did you ask us to call in? Why did you ask us to call in for what? Well, I guess Jimmer lost this one. He lost his CEO earlier. Fucking CEO fucking owned him. Jimmer's playing the silent game. Jimmer's playing the silent game because he's not a man. Jimmer is not a man. Jimmer, you're not a man. You're playing the silent game. Jimmer's not a man. He won't answer any fucking question I ask him. But he's a YouTube star. He retired on top at 90 views. How much money was that? About 40 bucks? 90 views? God damn, he was on top. He'll be on the level of Joe Rogan in no time. Oh, I told you, I'm not hanging up. He's the one playing the, uh, uh, he's the one playing the silent game. I mean, shit, you know, I mean, you know, he tells us to call in and he plays the silent game. Cyclops. 
Sam Hill Cyclops. Oh yeah, he's a uh, uh, he's a loser too. He's in everybody's stream, old old Sam Hill. Jimmer's not a man. How did he beat me, Sammy? Cyclops. <clears throat> I'm not 40. So I was born in 79, bitch. So boom. How did I lose, dude? I asked Jimmer, fuck, I don't know how many questions. He didn't answer one of them. He lost. He's too ashamed to answer the questions. He's too ashamed. But he's still wishing for the trash can, so will one of y'all send him one, please? I mean, that's embarrassing. He's wishing for a trash can on his Amazon wish list. Hey, that's me. Look at me. I look cute now. I've got a big gap, too, just like Tara. We're twins. Look at me. I'm so happy there. That was back when, uh, when Jim Renan was on top of the world. That was back when Jim was on top of the world. And then he retired, so we're all in sadness, mourning his YouTube career. Sam Hill, why don't you send Jimmer a trash can, dude? I mean, fuck, dude, you've been watching him for like eight months. Send him a fucking trash can. Sam Hill, I'm calling you out right now. Send Jimmer a trash can. You've been watching him for eight months. He's been entertaining you for eight months. Please come again. Hey, Jimmer, and I really liked Wanda oh. Rousey when she was with Dana White in MMA. What do you think about her signing a contract now with WWE? I think that's a good move, man. She's probably making a shitload more money. It's all about the money, right, Jim and Ann? Ain't that why you're doing this for the money? This is your job. This is your job. This is uh, your only job that you do is YouTube. No, I was a fan up until uh, around May. Around May, I finally started to see the real Jimmer. Hainsey was the smartest one out of everybody, though, dude. He fucking abandoned Jimmer way before anybody did, man. He saw right through that motherfucker. He saw right through Jimmer, man. Damn. Son of ass, some of your dad can't beat up shit. I'll whip his ass.
This dude's a great doctor, man. He got my fucking pick. I mean, for a 60 year old dude, I sure look young, huh? How old do y'all think he is? Hey, Sax Jr., why don't you come on with your old retarded ass, monotone ass, stupid ass, ass? Trump Russia probe? Who gives a fuck, man? Hell, they've been talking about it for two years. If they had something, they would have had something. It's been two fucking years. Fuck it. You hear crickets? Boy, you in the country? Are you in the country like me and Tara? You hear crickets? I hear moon crickets. I just... I just told you, Jane Gum. Any other questions? Since uh, since Jim is playing the silent game on his own show. Wow, what kind of show is this? He's playing the silent game. He hasn't talked for 15 minutes. A hole is a hole. I guess so. Well, day tripper, you need to tell Jimmer to hang up on me. He's not running his show right. Analogies? What analogy are you talking about, boy? Oh, the crickets? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Well, you hear crickets uh, because of your host isn't talking. He's the great host. Why isn't he talking? He's the king of all YouTubers. Why isn't he talking? This is a whole the whole shit. No, I'm not hanging up. Why don't you tell the king of all YouTubers to hang up? He has a hang up button. I told you, boy, I go all night. I'm not no quitter. I'll go all night and I have all night. Because I'm a loser. Just like all of you, according to Jimmer.
sleep apnea? Shit. He probably does have uh, have the sleep apnea, but he can't afford the uh, uh, the machine thing. So he just gotta tough it out. He got tough it out. He ain't got no money. Well, Jim, you're snoring because you won't say anything on your own show. I guess you lost. You're not a man. You lost. I slammed you so hard, you're fucking speechless. You lost. your show you can change it this is your show it's not my show you can change the way your show goes Jimmer come on why are you making your viewers do this Remember, you have a hang-up button. All you have to do is hit it. Why are you putting your fears through this? I have all night. I have unlimited minutes. Jimmer, this is your show. Come on, make the move. Make the move, Jimmer. It's your show, bud. Entertain your viewers. doing this, dude. Why are you fucking doing this? You ain't gonna get no donations from this. Ain't that what it's all about, is donations? Since you can't make any money off of your monetized free channel? It's all about donations. Jimmer, this is on you, buddy. All you gotta do is hang out. You control your show. If you answer the question, how much money have you paid your kids? This might end. It might end. We'll see. If I'm satisfied with the answer, then we'll end. But if you don't answer at all, it won't end. How much money have you sent to your kids? When was the last time you seen your kid? Come 
Come on, Jimmer. It's on you, buddy. It's your, all your fault, Jimmer. This is all your fault. Everybody watching is counting on you, Jimmer. Come on. Jimmy Dean, come on, Jimmy Dean. Remember them days? Jimmy Dean. Those were the good old days, huh, Jimmer? This shit ain't ever coming back. You fucked it all up. It was all your fault. You turned on everybody. You pissed everybody off. You fucking ruined it, buddy. You ruined the whole fucking thing. You made all the drama. At the time, you thought it was fun, man. You are having a good old time. Now that everybody left you, now you're sorry for it. It's boring. You're boring, everybody. Quit boring, everyone. Well, spice it up then, buddy. Come on. Shit, I, I mean, hell, I've been on for an hour. Yes, sir. Go ahead. What you got? What you got, buddy? Go ahead. Go. It's boring. You're boring, everybody. Quit boring, everyone. It's boring. You're boring, everybody. Quit boring, everyone. It's boring. You're boring, everybody. Quit boring, everyone. Jimmer, you're making you're your boring viewers everybody. Suffer. Quit boring everyone. It's all your boring. fault, Jimmer. You're boring everybody. Quit boring everyone. It's boring. You're boring everybody. Quit boring well, everyone. Well, Jimmer was part of the silent boring. game. It wouldn't be boring. boring but he's everybody. not a man. He's playing Quit the silent boring, game. He's playing it's boring. The first you're grade boring, game. Everybody. Quit boring everyone. It's boring. You're boring 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 everybody. Quit boring everyone. Why are you boring. doing this to your viewers, You're dude? boring everybody. Quit boring everyone. This is not it's how you become boring. a great YouTuber. You're boring everybody. Quit boring everyone. It's boring. 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 You're boring everybody. Quit boring everyone. Oh, just how Jimmy wins his argument. You're boring everybody. Quit boring everyone. It's boring. You're boring everybody. Quit boring everyone. It's boring. You're boring everybody. Quit boring everyone. It's boring. You're boring everybody. Quit boring everyone. Hey, Jim, how much money you made off your NBA You're boring bit. everybody. Quit boring everyone. It's boring. You're boring everybody. Quit boring everyone. It's boring. You're boring everybody. Quit boring Surely everyone. You've made enough to buy a trash can for now. You're boring everybody. Quit boring everyone. It's boring. You're boring everybody. Quit boring everyone. It's boring. You're boring everybody. Quit boring everyone. It's boring. No. You're boring, You're boring everybody. everybody. You boring have control everyone. of your show. It's your boring. show. You're boring I everybody. Quit boring everyone. It's boring. You're boring everybody. Quit boring everyone. It's boring. You're boring everybody. Quit boring everyone. It's boring. You're boring oh, shit, everybody. I gotta go to bed. Quit boring everyone. It's six hours. It's you're boring everybody. Quit boring everyone. It's boring. You're boring everybody. Quit boring everyone. It's boring. You're boring everybody. Quit boring everyone. It's boring. Everybody's still boring. boring everybody. I'm on the show for like an hour. It's boring. You're boring everybody. 
Quit. One, two. It's boring. You're boring, everybody. Quit boring, everyone. It's boring. Everybody You're sing boring, here. everybody. Quit boring, everyone. It's boring. You're boring, everybody. Quit we'll boring, do everybody. Show You're, show boring. <laughs> You're boring, everybody. Quit boring, everybody everyone. Everybody sing here. It's boring. You're boring, everybody. Quit boring, Here's everyone. Here's my phone up. I can't hit the hang up button. You're boring, everyone. <laughs> Boring. You're boring, everybody. everybody. Here. We're boring, everyone. It's boring. You're boring, everybody. We're 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 bo
Everybody. 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 Everybody.
boring. You're boring everybody. Quit boring everyone. That's boring. You're boring everybody. Quit boring everyone. That's boring. You're boring everybody. Quit boring everyone. That's boring. Well, that was fun. See you guys later.